Welcome back to Gills Arena, presented by Underdog Fantasy. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Merry New Year! I need something. We back here in 2024. Appreciate you, everybody, who pulled up to our special New Year's Eve show. Brought in the new year with us. How y'all feeling? Y'all was here good. turned up. What, till about 4 in the morning? No, they, no. They, they were? They, 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 they were. They, they. Oh, man, the music is going the whole, like, they ain't turning down a little bit. It was... Full blast the whole time. I'm sitting there trying to sleep, and I just want to go down and yo shut the fuck up. <laughs> but I was hoping the, the white folks did it, but they didn't. They didn't. Some niggas over there. Yeah, I was. I was praying like, yeah, please complain, please complain, David. Do me a solid. You do the complaining. For me. Don't you take your ass over there, Margaret? Don't you take your ass over there? I had a party. I had a party one time. I called the police myself. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah called, called the police myself. I was like, yo, it's so much going on over here. Just get everybody. Get everybody out of here. Yeah, get it's everybody time out. to go. Yeah, it's time to go. It was it's too time much. to go. Like a, 
You just have to call the police yourself. <laughs> on yourself. Oh, like, yeah. Call it on myself. You don't want to be the bad guy, man. Mm -hmm. I was like, I hope, the, I hope I my neighbor can hear this and just call it. <laughs> don't <laughs> break shit in my house. Yeah, get man. him up out of here. We got to say appreciate you to Kenya's wife, too, for making us a delicious yep. New Year's meal. She spent uh, the beginning of her birthday. Oxtails, yeah. macaroni and cheese, greens, fish, mm -mm. a little bit, no. yeah, jerk chicken wings. No, Ooh, no. Can you spend all day jerking? No, I'm no, no, the no. Itis. Yes, leave me alone. Kenyon and his wife, no more. <laughs> I had like three plates of mac and cheese by itself. I'm cool. That shit was a scrumptious. Oh, hey, that's what I said. I went over there for Thanksgiving, man. Came back 235. <laughs> Still working it off, man. Still working it off. <laughs> but this is Gil's Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. As always, we got the legend Gilbert Arenas here with us. What's happening? Uh, you know, we are, you know, pants today. I love it. Pants. It's cold out there now. It's, it, 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 just gets it is seasonal. Chilly. It's kind of chilly. In yeah, LA. Yeah. Get a little, any little cold, you know, we, we can't wait to put some clothes on. We got Brandon Jennings here representing for the U. It's all about that U. Mm -hmm. Oakley. Oh, it's all Oakley? <laughs> Oakley. Oakley, Oakley. <laughs> We, we moved on from Tough Crowd or what? We get no, 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 we still, no, we still okay. Tough Crowd. We still okay, just making sure. Just making sure. Just sure. Hey, I like that bony ring dog. That's nice, man. Thank you, thank you. You yeah. see that? That's, that was show the camera. That, yeah, that's fire. Oh, they can sit on oh, yeah. the side. For fire. the dogs. We got Rashad McCants back here with us as well. Where did Eric McCants at? Man, count your fucking days, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the dumb shit. <laughs> Fuck the dumb shit. Yeah. Uh oh, morning. Oh, oh we ain't clip. even tried. Yeah, one the one on one. Yeah, I'm here for the smoke hey, I all the time. You know what I'm saying? Is I don't know who to bet on. I got I got to hit the rules first. What do you mean rules? We Rule, do pick rules. No, I mean rules. You can't say McCann's ain't allowed to Listen, be McCann's. All I know is all no, I know no. is last year I was film playing two times. Right, I was playing with Famous Los, L.A. Uh, L.A. Fitness, and I was yeah, he was Steph, killing. And I was at Steph Camp. Killing. Yeah, he was killing. So I don't know what he got. So y'all saw me a couple months ago. So you know I'm still. Any yeah. minute, I could just get to well, it. I need just, the, but I need the rules, though. I think Because rules... Two change. dribbles. Two dribbles? I, I mean, what I did at Steph Camp was one dribble. No, what I'm saying is rules because he, he going to try to use his strength. So I'm not going to try to use a goddamn thing. He going to try to use his strength. So I got I to... Gotta, before I put the... Before I put the thread on it, I got to know the rules. I mean, listen, we can start at the, uh, the free throw line. The, Don't matter. What you All mean? it is, two the, dribbles. Two the pinch dribbles, post? Just boom, no, boom. I'm, the, the first one, I'm going to hit him. And then the second one, he better... First time, like... Yeah, we can wait, tell, well, you can tell you ain't been, you ain't never wait, did mid, this Wait, mid-post? He ain't never did this before. I don't care, I'm not, come on, oh, I, I can get into that. Yeah, mid-post, no, we ain't I going wouldn't. nowhere. I wouldn't do it. We ain't going nowhere. I wouldn't Man, do it. Man, one dribble? I wouldn't do one it. One dribble, I can do that. I can, I can play that game. I wouldn't do it. No dribble? I wouldn't do it. I so, wouldn't advise it. One dribble. Oh, you crazy as hell. I just wouldn't advise it for y'all. One dribble. Uh, uh, we well, can do one dribble. Before, I just wouldn't. Per before we start the show, we got a special Mosi fans question that has to do with this subject. Let's talk, fellas. So my question to you guys is, you especially, B. Jennings, if you tell someone you're better than them and he tells you prove it, in what world do you not just go ahead and play? If you're better than someone and he tells you to prove it, go prove it. That's simple. Go play him. Damn. He called. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> he talking about your game. I ain't going to lie. So what you going to do? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's my I'm man. That's safe. my man. He stay around the block. He know what's up. <laughs> El Waldo. That's my, my, that's my guy. Dang. You had him call in? Man, you better tell that man. <laughs> Protect his neck. That's cool. I mean, listen, man. <sighs> Y'all saw what I did last year. I played twice last year. So my, you see what type of shape I'm in. So it don't. Matter. I mean, y'all see what I did at Big Three, two dribbles, two dribbles. Listen, if it's two dribbles, yeah, two dribbles. And you got me you... like at the mid post. Oh, I'm good with that. Free throw. I mean, three point line above. I'm good. Y'all yeah, got, we could, yeah, we, got me at three point we line. Say, we could, we could say. I, I'm the now, same way. Like if we we're doing pin with... post, mid post, low post. Forget yeah. about it. Because I don't need my knee. I don't need my knees. You do. You <laughs> need them. I don't need my knees. You need we can do any of that. Need we, can do what, we can go three-point line, need. mid, whatever y'all want to do. It don't matter. I can, I can do mid. Whatever's going to make y'all just, that's just That's just a couple bumps. Bop. I mean, whatever's going to give y'all a chance. Whatever's going to give y'all a chance. I just say this. If you're 35 and up, go back to sleep. If you're 32 and up, you better go call your uncle and them and ask them. Okay. Anybody else, yo. lower than that, I don't want to have a conversation yeah. with you. Yo. You need to go to the gym and ask them, do you know McCants? Man, you playing against Julio and Romando at the 24-hour at the, at the fitness, the, man. The dream killer. You playing against Julio and Romando. Try. Hey, go <laughs> ask, hey. Go ask Paul George. Go ask Paul George. What? Oh. 
Paul Pierce and all them. How long ago was hey, that? Hey, it don't, talk- hey, it don't fucking matter. No, but how long ago? My, how long mine ago was, was this, what? My, my his big was three this, was what? His big was three this, was this year. His big three was 2019. When he was in the big three. 2019. Oh, you talking uh, too far. 19. No, 20. 19. 20. You did the third year. And the fourth year. That's 2019. I, I retired in 18. No, COVID, because they, no, no, no. COVID <laughs> messed us up. The 18, no. the 19? No, the oh, COVID. 2020, they fucked it up. Yeah, so I was I, in, You played before that, right? No, 2020 and during COVID. When we came, we came back uh, at that, towards that end, because we had to be in Vegas. No, bro, when I retired, remember you made the post like, uh, uh, you can't come back now, you are retired. You yeah, can't that year, that. but I did That was next, 19. But remember, I just played against Nick Young in the big three. When we was playing one on one, when we was playing against Vic yeah, yeah, with, uh, with uh, uh, Robinson, Frank, and them, y'all, yeah. Frank was on your team. Yeah. yeah, the second year. Yeah, yeah, ask all yeah. them. They know. When the I last, ran through that when shit. When the last time y'all played, though, I ran through that when shit. The la- I played. I played. This I just year. hit you the other day. Said I'm, I'm hooping at 24. What's up? When the last time no, y'all played? Did. When the last time y'all played against another NBA player? Hell no. <sighs> because what I did, I was playing against Ken Bazemore. He was he's still in shape, defender with, like yourself. You what know, y'all playing for, though? What y'all playing for? No matter what we play, we play for a paycheck. We play for our Ooh. paycheck. Ooh. I play for a blunt, man. Okay. I play for my paycheck. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, giving, I'm not giving this nigga my okay. check. I play for my paycheck. Damn! I want the money. Wait I'm a minute. So you wait. wait. Call me out. Down? I'm Call me out. You know if we was in a locker room right now, which <laughs> technically this yeah. is, the fact that you saying you ain't giving him the paycheck, that means you ain't even got the confidence to beat him. No, I can't beat him. Cause I, I can tell you, I'm right. Rashad McCann's. I ain't shit. I'm a fucking bum, nigga. I, I can't beat no fucking body. I don't want this. I, I work hard for that money, man. I'm living nice. Whatever. I'm down by the my, beach. I'm cool. Hey Tim, don't even wire me, mine. Just send me somebody a check. Wrote, I'm gonna have. Somebody, hey, I'm, hey, I'm gonna have my check at the shootout. Let's get the big. The someone big. wrote. I only had three good years in the NBA, and I need you to correct. When I started playing basketball until I got hurt, all those years was great. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, my rookie year was great. Second year was great. I was dominant for three years and I got hurt. That's so, different. Right. I say the same type of shit, though, Gil. Niggas be like, oh, you only did this, you only did that. It's like, okay, when I looked at the two guards when I was playing and all of the ones that was averaging more than 10 points a game, I'm just sitting there like, hmm, there's only about four or five of them, which was J.R. Smith, Lou Will, I think maybe Nick at the time. It was a young core of six men that was really popping, and I was one of them. Yeah. So it was like, to not get the chance that they got to keep going, it's like, shit, yeah. I played 26 minutes, and I get 36, bro. We having a different conversation. Yeah, yeah listen, they, they man, had you, know you at a tw- uh, 36 like, minutes, you would have been averaging 19. Easy. Coming up, yeah. Yeah, like you know you're not a bum. And, and we gotta give a shout out to Julio Romano, uh, LA Fitness All American. Yeah, he got them, yeah. He's LA, you know, LA, LA, he a, he a, a LA Fitness trainer, oh, right? That was your boy? Huh? Yeah, he, he, he play with. He who? Yeah. He who? Listen. He who? Listen. Hey, fr- hey, 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 yo, Friday, hey, yo, Friday, me and McKenzie hooping at LA uh, Fitness in, in uh, Northridge. Will y'all go up and down? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yep. Everybody sure. pull up. Friday. I'm letting y'all know. I, defense, make sure, like, make sure he come. One dribble, two dribbles. I ain't even got to play defense like that. It's just a little bump. I, 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 uh. I mean, make that's sure. what we go I got to go left and right. I'm done. <laughs> he goes, I'm, yeah, well, you know, I don't do that shit either, man. My knees just as fucked up as yours, my nigga. But uh, I know how to mitigate. I know okay. how to. Uh, we are uh, turning this shit. shit all the way up in 2024. Let's hope we make it to 2025. Count Here's what we got days, cracking man. in the arena today. Luka Doncic <laughs> is the fastest actor player to drop 10,000 points. Mm. But what does he need to do to be the MVP this season? Trey Young is coming off a historic December. But will he ever get the love that he deserves in Atlanta? And Steve Kerr thinks the NBA is legislating defense out of the game, but is this helping or hurting the league? And before we get into all that, as always, this show is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Download the app, use promo code GILL. They will match your first deposit up to $100. Help us help you. We need more first-time depositors. We're trying to keep the lights on, trying to keep this show going. Your favorite basketball podcast, Hood Tested, Legends Approved. (laughs) (laughs) And as always, we do mostly fans at the end of every show. If you drop a good question with your Underdog Fantasy username and we use it on the show, we will give you a $50 bonus to your Underdog Fantasy account. And if you send us a video, <laughs> mostlyfansgill at gmail.com, and we use that video on the show, we will give you a $100 bonus to your Underdog Fantasy account. If you do send us a video, please keep it in the 30 to 40 second range. We do not have all day to watch our asking these questions and keep it isolated to one question unless you have a good follow-up. And if you can't watch the show live with us on YouTube, you know, three different topics and one question. 
All right, we only got two hours to do the show every day. If you can't watch the show live on YouTube, we got audio versions available on Apple, Spotify, wherever you get your podcast from. So let's get into it. It took only a few hours into 2024 to witness one of the wildest moments in TV history. Came courtesy of Reese Davis, Pat McAfee, and the ESPN College Game Day crew as they prepared for the college football playoff semifinal between Michigan and Alabama at the Rose Bowl. Jalen Milrow often wears his own branded apparel reading LANK across the front. It's an acronym that stands for Let a Naysayer Know. Being told by his former offensive coordinator, that Bill O'Brien. That is not what I thought. Is that not what you thought? Boy, let a naysayer know. Let a naysayer know. Of course. The professional's right in the middle of his lead. That's all right. I just keep I thought going. You almost lost me. <laughs> <laughs> it got real tight up here, as you were, I just want to let you know. Reese, you were too smooth with that. I thought it was going down. Okay. <laughs> Let a naysayer know. That's what we thought the whole time. It's obvious Davis had to gentrify the acronym uh, to prevent an impromptu race war to start this year. <laughs> and unfortunately, Jalen Miller on Alabama tricked off a chance to play in the Natty game, but we got the crew here, so Gil, I'll start with you. What's one thing that you want to let a naysayer know? Let, let a naysayer, naysayer let know. know. <laughs> <laughs> um, you got to start saying that shit. Just like that. Naysayer no. Uh, mine is like how hard I actually work. You know what I mean? Like when people look at you know your career, they look at did you win a championship? If you didn't win one, they thought you were selfish. And I don't think people really understand how hard I actually worked on my craft. You know, um, from... 25 down, there was no one in the NBA at that time working harder than me. The only person I can say that actually worked harder than me was probably Kobe. Okay. That's it? 100%. It was him. That's it. I put Shamon Williams as a close third. Who? Shamon Williams. North Carolina Worked harder than me? Not harder, but like third. Like you, Kobe. Shamon was a fucking gem rat, just like you. I'm going to just be honest. Who the fuck is that? From North Carolina? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. He wasn't as good, but Come on, he's just in there. Uh, no, I'm... It's, it's too to, early in 2020. No, no, no. No, no, no. When I was like 99, 2000. Yeah, that was before me. Yeah. See, that was before me. Good. Do you have anybody who can support your claims? Every teammate. Okay. I know there was a clip with uh, Jason Richardson uh, talking on um, Knucklehead's podcast. Okay. And the one thing G-Mitchell. Gilbert don't get enough credit for was how hard he worked. He worked his ass off. Man. Say, he stayed in the he gym. He worked his <laughs> ass. He stayed in the gym. This dude was constantly in the gym, like yeah. all the time when he wasn't playing. And that was my guy. So yeah. I'm in the office every day, like, yo, y'all got to play him. <laughs> for the whole season, I'm telling the GM, yeah, y'all got to play, play him. Y'all got to play him. They finally let him play, and he just takes off. Gilbert Arenas. And Gilbert Arenas. That's when I Shout out Jay Rich. But I, I like some Shea Alexander shit. Like, we got something right here. Y'all need to put this nigga in. Yeah, like, uh, it was a tough time. You know, I, I guess, like, when I be trying to speak to, like, the, the, the younger guys, it's like, you know, he's saying it. Like, he's working his ass off and he ain't even playing. And just trying to understand that the, like, I'm not training <clears throat> to get playing time. I'm training to get better, right? So no matter, you know, um, the result of getting in the game, like I wasn't rewarded with getting in the game then. But when I did eventually get there and they say, all right, Gilbert, get in, I was so in tuned and already prepared, right? There was no lack of confidence. There was no lack of knowledgement because I've been training three times, four times a day for the last month, month and a half, two months. So when they, when they put me in, it was ready to plug to play. And mm-hmm. so before I get into y'all, uh which I want to let a naysayer know, who's a player that you'd like to see get more playing time or burn in the league right now that's in a similar spot that you were early in your career, mm. not, not getting the, the, the love have, that they deserve? Whoever's putting in that work. And I can say it like that. If, if Imani? Coach, I don't, but what I'm saying is I don't know don't who's know doing it, yeah, right? right? So as a coach, is if you see a young guy working his ass off, putting in all that work, reward him. Mm-hmm. Right? Put him, put him in the game. Find some time to put him in the game to basically say, hey, yo, keep going and I'm going to reward you. Like, if you're not showing no re... If you're not showing that you're going to reward for the good behavior, 
at some point human nature kicks in and they, they start thinking, why am I gonna do, keep yeah, doing this shit? Yeah. For me, I, you know, me, it was the concept of my teammates is like, yo, keep going, yeah, yeah. keep going. They rooting for you. You know, I got, that's what I'm saying, I got Jason Richardson, top five pick, he started, so he ain't gotta give a fuck about me. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? And he's going up there every day talking about, yo, I got to play him. He can help you. Yeah. He can help me. Yeah, and, that's, and that was the, the thing that, you know, with Jay Rich, you know, right, and I got to thank him, second round pick, right? He's lottery. And he's saying, yo, you got to give him two years yep. on his contract, yep. which saved me because, you know, I spent all my motherfucking money, <laughs> right? And then, you know, here, like, I didn't know he was going up there saying, um, yo, put, put him in. That's crazy. That's dumb love right there, yeah. bro. You said Imani Bates. Yeah, Imani Bates, Cam Whitmore, guys like that that can really go. Cam Reddish got, had a little bit of that. Yeah. We, we see a lot of guys who can play. It's like, even Cam Thomas. A little Bones Highland too, maybe? Bones Highland. I was going to say Bones Highland. Yeah, Brandon. I was going to say Bones Highland for sure. Some yeah. guys out there. Shout out Busy Bones. Yeah, see, I don't look at the production. I, I got to look at, man, like the work ethic. If you know you got... Because I remember when Doc was talking about um, Maxi, the one thing he did say is... This kid works so hard, he's never seen anything like it, right? This is back, you know, three years, uh, two years ago, he was like, this kid works. We like, we got to tell him, take vacation, Yeah. right? So when I hear something like that, it's like, right, okay, reward him. Please reward him so he can keep moving forward. Mm. For sure. So Brandon, back to our naysayer question. What's one thing you want to let a naysayer know? Let a naysayer know. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> Shout out to Paolo and the production team for the audio. Uh, I think I'm a trendsetter. I set a lot of trends, yeah. um, and I don't mind taking risk. I think that's my for a naysayer. Like yeah. you know, I don't a naysayer. Is, uh, at the end of the day, I'm gonna take a risk, and whatever happens, I'm gonna keep going though. Feel like your resume supports that. Yeah. One of the first dudes to go overseas yeah. Yeah. out of high school. Yeah. The first, maybe. Yeah, first. Under yeah. Armour, um, leaving Dominguez, go to Oak Hill. That was unheard of. Yeah. So, and then I caught it at the right time too. I feel like that's when social media, that's when people start getting into like YouTube's and the mm -hmm. yeah. so, Like, you know, I, I caught it at the right era. So that's why I feel like that. Yeah. Well, Rashad, what's one thing you want to let a naysayer know? Man, it's more let than... a naysayer know. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I got time today. <laughs> we got time today. Well, shit, where do we start? Man, uh, I'll start with the training part. Like, I want to let the naysayers know, like, I didn't wait until a certain point in my career to start like really, really, really being in the gym. Like I was in the gym at 12, 13, and we didn't even have gym, it was the, it was the court. Like I put in the work 15 years old, 16 years old, 17 years old, where I went to boarding school in New Hampshire and it was the first time I actually had a gym to myself at any time. So I'm up at 6 a.m. recording myself shooting, three hours correcting my form, going through the footage. From there, I get to Carolina and I'm like, oh, we still, we got a practice gym here too? Oh, it's up. I was so advanced when I was in high school at 18 that they didn't know what to do with me in boarding school because I would just dominate it. This is fifth year seniors, mm -hmm. the number one boarding school conference in the country. Mm -hmm. MCI, Winchenden, uh, Woodchester, all of them. So when I got to college, I was the number one shooting guard because I dominated everybody because I had already outworked all of them. I knew they, I knew their tendencies. I knew their habits. I knew they didn't have this more than me. Mm -hmm. So by the time I got through my third year of college, I had already dominated all of this shit. I had already put in the work that when I got drafted and put the hat on, that was the bonus. I felt like I did, mama, I did it, right? So then the work took over, right? You know what I'm saying? It, it interrupted me, mm -hmm. right? The work. And, it, it, and it wasn't that I stopped working. It was that if something else was introduced, mm. you know, right? That was like a distraction. The work can be overwhelming in your younger Because I controlled it in college. No. I, I had control of it in college. You can mitigate, but like when it got to the NBA, it was like, this is overwhelming. <laughs> this is not, this is over no, no, and I got no, money right, and no, I got right. money right. and it's like yo what do I do here? And you know so I'm glad you're honest with that because yeah. because people don't realize that is a thing. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Right? That is a thing. Right. right? You know, you got college girls. If you go to North Carolina, there might be two or three baddies. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. And the whole school is fighting for the two or three baddies. Mm-hmm. Football team, basketball, <laughs> baseball. You don't know what they yeah, like. Hey, baseball dudes were the sneakiest. Just so y'all, y'all <laughs> know. What I'm saying, when you get to the when you get to the NBA and you you become a millionaire, right? You done unlocked the world, the world beauty. The world beauty has been unlocked. The greatest right? of the cold. Th- yeah, yeah, your favorite, the person you sitting there looking at, like, oh, man, I'm going to have it one day. As soon as you get that check, that is actually reachable. You get the, I got in my comments, happy holidays. <laughs> yeah. Is this a spam? Is this, did you send this to everybody? No, just you. Yeah. Oh, you got the, the spam no, happy yeah, holidays, not the, not Is it because I just got the check, check? or is it my cute? Which one? Both. <laughs> That check make it cute, you know what I mean? Cute. But that's what I'm saying. So a young, so when, when when people talk about like why this player didn't, you know, do something, he he was probably sidetracked, not realizing, you know, like there's women involved, there's money involved, new family came, like so many things are happening in real time that. If you don't really understand it, it really it do, it can sidetrack you. Let me give you context. When I was in college, Jay Z and Michael Jordan were calling my phone. I'm in Blue Heaven. If you don't know what Blue Heaven is, that's where Tar, Tar Hill Nation is. Jordan is mm. Jesus, God of Blue Heaven. I'm number 32. He number 23. Jay Z's at my games in college. Mm-hmm. I'm at the 40-40, Jay-Z like this, me and Jamal Crawford. I don't tell these stories for context. I just want to let a, 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 a what'd you call it? A na- naysayer. <laughs> let them know I'm not new to this. I'm let true to this. Let a naysayer know. I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. I've been doing this. That's why I don't be really get in, I don't get flustered when people be like, oh, you only did this and that. It's like, damn, y'all niggas forgot that quick. Yeah. So, damn, I'm really... Question really? for all y'all, just knowing the way the world works now, social media, we've seen a, a lot of young players in the league get caught up in situation. You think about Zion, you think about Ant sending a video and all that other stuff going on. How would, how would that have impacted y'all careers living in the social media era nowadays? Like you're talking about, even back in those days, it was about Facebook days, MySpace days. Now with so many different other avenues and ways, you know, the work can reach you on like seven different social media platforms. Yeah, my, I have 10 times the more work, bro. I'm not even gonna <laughs> lie. Because the reach is crazy. It was my space back then. It was from my space to my place. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what it would be now. It's like these, it's, it's cheat code. But I would also say that what I, what I know now, I, I could contain the discipline to chase what Kobe Bryant was chasing. Because I didn't know what mm-hmm. he was chasing. I was chasing him. Mm-hmm. I didn't know he was chasing Mike. I didn't know he was chasing to be the best ever. I'm just like, I'm following the trends. Mm-hmm. So now my, my focus would have changed knowing what I know now. Like, nah, I'm not, I'm not going out. I'm not doing none of that shit. Fuck that. You're not going to manipulate me so you could take my, my mm-hmm. spot. In, in reality, to be honest, it would have been easier. The reason I say it would be easier is because I don't have to go to the club. Right. I don't have to go to the strip club or the bar to try to find out what's going on, right? You know, when we, when we talk about landing in the city, right? I don't have to go to, as soon as we land, put my bags up and try to get to the club and park lot pimp, Define you know, in this, Minnesota <laughs> at 2 in the morning. I don't, have to, I don't have to. I don't have to go to the strip club. I can, just, I can just DM, right? And then you just meet me at the hotel. So, you know... <laughs> Just like that. I mean, think about it. Instead of spending the two hours going there to bring you back, I can just call you, give you the room number. So it actually, it 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 helps the players okay. now be more discreet and stay out of trouble. Cause that two that two a.m. two a.m. You don't know what's Drunk happening. Driving all you ain't got to worry about none of that. Stick now. up kids, yeah. all them niggas can get. Are you we out just there. talking just NBA? Are we talking about like just now, like if we was in high school or anything now? I mean, even yeah, just because I I think now I think for me I don't think I would have made it. In today's, sure. yeah, I think I just think with my structure, my structure from home, and me just being away and being, you know, like you know, wanting women and wanting the life, like even in you, high school, yeah, like yeah, like I think I still like I probably wouldn't have went to Oak Hill, like because it's just social media and the hype, like today, like 
And I don't yeah, mean you'd have been, been and, bigger. And, and, you'd have been much bigger. That's what I'm saying. And like, not even to put his name out there, but I probably would have ended up like Mikey Williams. Mm. In a, in a way, just because I didn't have the structure. Mm -hmm. So 18, 17, getting money in high school. Yeah, popping off on Like, everybody. you're not going to tell me what to do. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, and I'm not saying, like, you know, going to court, but I just, I would have been in that type of, like, probably trouble or something. Yeah. Just because if he got $3 million in high school as number one player, imagine what I would have got. Not even, he wasn't the number one player. Well, I mean, but you know, <laughs> that's, that's, but you know what I'm saying? And I just know from my, when he was, from my experience. When he made that money, he Michael wasn't was even one. top 10. He wasn't top 10. When he, made the, when he got that deal, yeah. nah. That's crazy. He was just really popular. Yeah. He was just, yeah. So, that social media. Yeah, me. Wagner was. Wagner and him. And Isaiah, right? Mm hmm. Isaiah, yeah. 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 Nah, I get it, bro. Like, that's. So, that's just me. It's real. It's definitely real. That, that 16? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I don't know. That's what I said. Mine would have been. Like, I already had got that experience, like, early of what, like, Golden State, when I got drafted 31, that, that humbled me, right? So there was no looking for women. I didn't go to no clubs. I, didn't, I wasn't even old enough to do any of that anyway. When I got to D.C., got the money, and I started going to the club, right? And that the look that people give you when you got jewelry on, yes. I didn't like that. Mm. I didn't. I didn't like that look, right? Mm. I, I didn't like. I just didn't like the feel of I'm a walking bank. Yep. With Target. no security. Target. Target. Yeah, I'm not. Target. I'm not a Target. security anymore. So from there, it was more like I got hurt. Like so, everything that I was trying to have fun with, I was getting penalized in real time. Yeah. Staying up late, you know, trying to party, coming to the game tired, pull my groin, right? Shit, I'm party some more. Come back, get hurt again. Then I'm like, all right, I'm good. Yeah, right? it's not and, worth it. You know, so that's when I said I, I really put myself on like a, like real discipline. I'm only going to a few parties this year. So whose party is going to be popping? Right. I'll go to y'all birthdays. Other than that, I'm going to wait till the summer, do my little summer day in the first three weeks, then get back to the grind. See, for me, it's like in 2004, I met William Wesley, calling World Wild West. Mm -hmm. He took me under his wing. He introduced me into being a professional in college. I was a college student up until he showed me the NBA lifestyle. Mm -hmm. This is how you dress, bro. Turn your, turn your, uh, your phone off, the silent, put it on vibrate. Nobody want to hear that ringer. Mm -hmm. Like He put elements of ethics into my mind where I understood, like hanging around Chauncey and Rip and she, while they was going there run, I was like, yo, this, I can't wait for this. Mm -hmm. Because I seen how focused uh, Rip was and Chauncey was, the preparation, right? And so even the team building part, like they, I'm coming from a championship field and I'm seeing how they built it. So I'm prepared for the NBA, but I'm still in college. So I was ready to get the fuck out of there. Mm -hmm. That's where the jail comment come in. It was like, man, I compare this shit to prison because I'm hanging with NBA players. Mm -hmm. What do you mean we can't go home for... Thanksgiving and Christmas. What do you mean ain't no spring break? Mm -hmm. And that man said, as soon as you get out of there, bro, you ain't got to worry about none of that. And that's what turned me up. And then eventually <laughs> turned the nigga out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, I seen, that's what I said, I seen young dudes, man, they come in and, you know, it's, and, and, and to be honest, like when people say, yo, let a veteran grab you, you can, but it's like telling a child, don't, don't, don't do touch this. that stove, yeah. mm -hmm. right? What ends up happening is they start getting intrigued with the stove. Yep. Right? They start getting intrigued with the stove, like, why not touch it? Why not touch it? It makes them want to touch it more. So when you try to put discipline into a young dude, like, it's, it feels like jail. Yeah. I got, I'm a millionaire. You're not going to tell me I can't go to the club. I just got from my parents. Mm -hmm. right? they, they can't tell me shit. So you got to let them, you got to let them go, let them feel what it is out there, and then hopefully they didn't just go too far and then reel them back in. You done? You got it out your system? Now let's play. That's one element, but the, for the kids out there watching, you have to be receptive to the OGs trying to give you game. Because we get stubborn. We get real arrogant as young players mm -hmm. thinking we don't have to listen to the, oh, you old ass nigga, woo, woo, woo. Oh. He trying to tell you some shit that you need to know, because you about to step in some shit. Bro, he's trying to tell you, don't step in that shit right there, you get stuck with that shit on the bottom of your shoe mm -hmm. for the rest of your life. And when you, we talk about the KG shit, mm -hmm. when it's enticing and you look at it that way, like you just put it, it's like, yeah, 
I got enticed by knowing that I can be closer to KG, the star of the team, if I were doing what he was doing. Mm -hmm. Instead of not giving a real example of what it is to be great, do your own thing, take the regiment, you can hang out with them guys. But when they doing that shit, take your ass home. But I didn't have nobody to go to that was alternative to that. So it was like, ah, I'm cool, okay? I can handle this shit. I can, I can, I can stop smoking when I need to. Yeah. Like right, right now, like for the viewers, <clears throat> we're considered smart men, right? You need to be wise. Right, smart men learn from their mistakes. Wise men learn from others. Yes. So learn from us, so you can be wiser than them. You know. That's a bar, and that, bro. And that's how, that's how it's supposed to be. That's a bar. Yeah. Right. You learn. You learn from my mistakes. If not, you're gonna make mistakes, and then you're gonna learn later. You just like me. For you to be in front of me, you have to learn from my mistake. Right. Man. That's bars. Real shit. <laughs> bars. All right. 2024, here we are. <laughs> yeah. Deals are really it to another level. Uh, let, let's keep this thing moving. Uh, a little bit lighter of a topic, but fresh off ending their record time, 28-game losing streak, the Pistons pulled up to Houston to face the Rockets and to celebrate a man and Asar Thompson's first NBA game against each other. The Rockets had twin night. Fans in attendance received Thompson <laughs> twin bobblehead. Look at the curls. Oh, so luxurious. <laughs> How come Bobo has never looked like the dudes that they're supposed to be? <laughs> like, what's, is that, what's, the, what's that trend? But uh, fans in attendance received uh, Thompson Twins bobbleheads. Detroit will, ho Detroit will host a twin night on January 12th for the, the rematch, Living Like Twins. Wait, so they collabed? They collabed. So they collabed on this one. This one was at the Rockets. Uh, and then on the 12th, they'll be in Detroit. And I think they're doing another twin night. NBA teams are collabing. Hmm. I like that. That's, that's different. different. It's different. It's different. different. It's different. That's different. I don't know. If, mm. You going like, hey, you got to grow. Let it grow. Let it grow. No, okay. Let it grow. I'm like, I'm not mad at it. You know, okay. I'm like, I'm, I'm not mad at it. see how I'm like, okay, that's, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Might be dope. That's cool. That's cool. Right. That's cool. Yeah. Because that's what I was just about to ask that. Who, who's home team? Yeah, so... So okay. they were at the Rockets uh, this game, and had a bunch of twins. Switch the jerseys, switch the jerseys for the, I like that. Right. Okay. Hopefully, you know, this get some boneless yeah. wings as well. <laughs> Pretty, clever. Pretty clever. So none of you guys have twins, but which celebrity do people think is your twin? This nigga smiling. <laughs> I mean, I get a little mixed. You ain't going to lie, man. Who <laughs> mixed you, baby? Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, I've gotten, um, they say I got the Kobe eyes. Don't right. be squinting. I got this little, nigga just squinting. Oh my this god! This nigga just oh squinting. I see you squinting. I got. <laughs> they say from afar, you got the D Wade look in the, oh you know. Then um, Idris Alba. I knew you was gonna say Idris. Yeah, yeah. And in the dark, Denzel, baby. <laughs> Oh like my in the God! Dark, Young baby. Denzel, huh? or old Denzel. Young Denzel, it don't matter. With the veneers, it don't matter. Denzel in the dark, baby, just the shadow. Like Bubba Denzel, Bubba like Denzel. He playing. Uh, got a shadow as soon as I walk in. I'm like, damn, it's Denzel. Bro, he cold. bro, I ain't got shit on bro, me. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Huh? Denzel, bro. Hey, it's Jake. Jake. Hey, long as it ain't Forrest Whitaker. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, as long as they ain't boring, I'm good. Hey, you <laughs> Shit. Bro, I hate you. More, more strays in 2024. Forrest Whitaker somewhere trying to do Ghost Dog 3, minding his business. Forrest is about to raise some hell. Hey, as long as they say I ain't got to squint. Man. <laughs> they say you also look like uh, Jesse O. Martin from Law & Order. Okay, I get that. I get that. Yeah. <laughs> Doppelgangers? He, he Five heads, though. Uh -huh. You got a better hairline. Give us the most uh, important I mean, thing. You know, if my barber keep, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, <a> barber. <laughs> you know, I mean, I had to wear some. I had to wear some hoodies for a reason. <laughs> Jeez. So, Give me a hat. Brandon, uh, who? Which celebrity do people think is your twin? Uh, I hear a lot of uh, KCP, Combo mm. Pope a lot. Um, and the one I get a lot is uh, Tevin Campbell. Damn, can we talk? <laughs> <laughs> I started it to write you Tevin letters. Campbell. Yeah, like when I had the iPod. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> did you do the, did you do the uh, can we talk uh, challenge? No. They did the challenge with last year. Yeah, last year. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, no. <laughs> Well, I mean, in college, uh, they said I used to look like Vince. I used to um, wear the ball head in college. Okay. So that was one. And then Jamie Foxx, I used to get a lot because I got the, uh, had the little, you know, little Caesar. <laughs> but then late, lately, the young Jones say I look like the baby. <laughs> <laughs> 
the baby. Said the baby. I be pulling up his picture like this man. What he look like? I don't know what he look. Baby. The baby. Better be a compliment. Baby. 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 You lying? Yeah, I know you got more. What's the dude uh, from North Carolina? Sean May. No, no, damn, not Sean May, dog. You damn. You kind of look like Sean Knox or whatever. No! That's, see, y'all niggas always take your shots, bro. <laughs> Tyson I'm just Daly, trying to host. like Bison Daly, Tyson, too. No, Bison Daly. Yeah. Hey, Bison Daly, I'll accept that one. Good looking. Very good looking. Rest in peace to the legend. Peace, All man. Right. <laughs> but let's, let's keep this thing moving and shaking. Wait, is the baby a compliment or? I try, that's why I was just doing it. <laughs> like, I ain't text the work back after she said that shit. I was like, trying to figure it out. Yeah, like, you don't know if you should be offended. <laughs> I'm like, man, I, I, is this I, nigga even a good looking nigga? What? What is we doing? I guess we gotta start asking, is it getting me closer to the action? Thank you. Right? I mean, is that, you know? Yeah, is it getting me closer to the action? You know, do you like the baby? Right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think she liked it, but she never texts back. I don't think she <laughs> liked the baby, man. <laughs> <laughs> I got to grow some facial hair or something now. It's like, this bitch got me fucked up. So, Gil, speaking of action, uh, the Jazz haven't had a player drop a triple-double in nearly 16 years. Damn. And during their blowout win over the Mavs and Jordan Clarkson one beat round away, head coach Will Hardy wasn't going to let a golden opportunity go to waste. Clarkson, hey, please, how about if I stay in? So here he is yelling at Clarkson, telling him, go get your rebound and then call a timeout. <laughs> you over looking like shit. You're looking like shit. Yeah. Really? I got nine? <laughs> I'm going to leave you in. Go get that rebound. Don't get hurt. He said, get the rebound. Call a timeout. After the game, Hardy explained his message to Clarkson and why he let, it, let him stay in the stat pad. I said, get a rebound and call timeout immediately. Like, I'm obviously not here to mess up a good time. I understand that I would have been maybe the most hated man in the building if I had subbed him out. Um... But there is a part of you where you're the head coach and you're like, the worst thing in the world would be Jordan like turning his ankle up 30, hunting for a triple-double. But again, I do recognize um, that those things are important. Um, the way the building reacted, the way the fans reacted, the way the team reacted, the way that Jordan reacted to that. Um, I was basically just begging him to just get a rebound and call timeout immediately so I could get him off the court. Um, I'm happy it worked out. God forbid, huh? I like mm -hmm. him. I like <laughs> so him. So it was the first triple-double for the Jazz since Carlos Boozer messed around and got one on February 13th, 2008. <clears throat> so I want to go around and ask you, you rolling with Hardy letting Clarkson get the triple-double in a blowout? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Right? History is history, right? You know, milestones is milestones. And um, if a player's that close to the milestone, right, um, as the coach or as a uh, X player if you are one, you understand how important that is because this is something you can't bring back, right? So if it's, if it's in the reach, right, you need one more rebound, three minutes left, go, right? And, you know, you know so that was the right call for me. Um, someone got fired for that, though. Um, Earl Watson. Yeah. Shout out Earl. They fired Earl. Was it for, the 70? Yeah, it was the 72. Devin Booker 70 in the garden. Yeah. And as a player, he understood that 72 was more important to his career and legacy than you firing me. Forever. You got fired for that? Forever. Yeah. Yep. I think it was a contributing factor. But Earl t right. told that story a few times. And I think the most important thing with him was D Book was a young player in the league. He wanted to help his confidence, boost his game, and we've seen what happened. But I think the Celtics are ready to fight him after that. He told him, "Meet me in the tunnel." Man, so shout out Earl Watson. I mean, and we Kansas City Landry. Yeah, we're gonna hold up the sign. We got seventy on your ass. What's up? You you remember that seventy a lot more than you can remember the outcome of the game. Of course, the yeah. Suns lost that game, but yeah. nobody gives nobody. a shit. I dropped I mean, seventy. I like the outcome of all of that just because coaches don't do what he did mm -hmm. when I was in college. I had eight threes. The, the record is nine. Coach Williams subbed me the fuck out the game, bro, to preserve the record so I could not break it. And it was the nastiest feeling because it was five minutes left. Mm -hmm. I had eight. I could have hit three more threes. We're playing against Clemson. I could have sh shattered it. Mm -hmm. And that could have took me to a whole nother level of greatness when it comes to records and all that shit. So 
<clears throat> I know what it feels like to resent a coach for doing some shit like that. I didn't get to play my last game at, 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 in, in the Dean Smith Center because the coach made a decision not to let me play. Last game, I don't get to play no more. My career here, last game, ACC tournament against Duke. Duke, Carolina, last game in the Dean Smith Center. You can't play. What was the, what was the, the reason behind that? He didn't want to uh, fuck up the team chemistry because I had been out like two games. So he wanted to save me for the ACC tournament. So it was things like that. That's like historical moments. And that was a, we had a historical game where we beat them. Marvin hit the shot at the, at, at the buzzer. Okay. And it was like, I had to sit there in my fucking outfit and watch it. Mm -hmm. And I actually cried at the end of the game because I wanted to be out there with them. And it's like to see Jordan get close to that and to see the response that the coach is like, that's the moment you can't, you can't get back. You can't get back. You can't get that back. So I love coaches that do shit like that. Like Earl Watson is a real one for that, for what he did with Book. And they get fired for it. Book should always put him in, in the story of that legacy. I mean, you got Giannis this year versus Pacers, a little different because the Pacers were closing in, but I think he came out with like 58 points. They put him back in. He ended up getting that 64 piece, mm -hmm. setting the franchise record. But Brandon, you rolling with uh Yeah, I'm rolling. Will Hardy let oh, him do yeah. it? For Jordan, for sure. And that record's gonna sit there for a minute. Six was since 2010? Mm -hmm. Uh 2008. Since 2008, I wasn't even in the league yet. Like, I came in. Who got it? 09. Mm -hmm. Who got it? Paul Boozer. Oh, Boozer Polo got a triple Boozer. double. February 13, 2008. And Jordan come off the bench and got that, right? The triple double. That's nastier. So does Clarkson being involved in trade rumors factor in at all here? We're trying to but make him look better to teams that may be trying to make a deal for him? I mean, everyone knows, you know, what he yeah. can do. Jazz is just in the spot where, I mean, they're probably trying to rebuild, see if they can get some, back some young pieces to try to... They're they going to keep know. rebuilding. Yeah, I'm, beyond, yeah. Right. yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm just saying, no, yeah, no I mean, I mean they, they just got rid of... I mean, they had to run with, uh, with, with, uh, Mitchell. with Mitchell, right? Mm -hmm. They had a nice little run, and that was only, what, three years ago now. They about to rebuild again. Well, I mean, that, that, is still, that was still rebuilding. They still been in the rebuilding mode, so, you know, you got to get back pieces, and from there, just trying to figure out what, what angle they're going to go. So, yeah, Clarkson's still going to be on the, the, the move to a better spot for him. Um, I want to see him man. and Tim Hardaway Jr. go somewhere. Why you want to see Timmy leave? Because I don't think Dallas has enough to win it. They do. Uh, no, no, they don't. I don't think Dallas has enough to win it, but I, I, I would like to see Tim Hardaway Jr. and Jordan Clarkson go to a contender. The backup power forward is six four. I know. All that. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying for him there. I think it's a perfect piece if you could change those other pieces. Hey, look, the backup power forward is six four with a twenty inch vertical. You know, just to put it in context. Man, any kind of overweight too. The, the Bucks need to go ahead and make a move for one of them. For two. one of them too. Yep. At this at this point at this point they need a shooter. At this point. Shooter. You know, with Boston looking the way Boston's looking, because they added something to enhance them, which was more scoring without losing defense. Yeah. Right? You know, you, you, mm -hmm. you would have thought that, you know, grabbing more offense, so they grab more defense and more offense. Right? Um, so Philly might need to make a, 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 a yep. move. Yep, that's another one. Um, Laker. They might need to make a move. Obviously, the West Coast is still trying to figure out what they're going to do since everybody's been up and down. And then Bucks need to make something where they can get a piece in that can just help. But what does that piece look like? Like a score. Like, like, a, like, what, score. like what position? The position three. Like the, the, three, man? Well, we got Chris Middleton. Mm, three, three backup. Bench player? Is it a, is it a bench, starter? Six man. Is it's it a six, six man? Like somebody who can come in and just change. Yeah. Like a Jeremy yeah, like a Grant? Like a Jeremy Grant type? That ain't too much probably break. like a wait a one two three somewhere in that yeah. somebody that's about six seven and six nine that we can get that, buckets yeah, yeah that can get buckets that can mm -hmm. get buckets you know. well speaking of trades uh, Knicks and Raptors capped off their 2023 by making a trade uh, Knicks sent R J Barrett Emmanuel Quigley in a second round pick to the Raptors for OG and Anobi Precious Achua and Malachi Flynn I got it right <laughs> <laughs> first time pronunciation God hey. nope. let a naysayer know uh, before the trade. The Knicks were plus 7,000 uh, to win the NBA championship this season. Mm -hmm. And after the trade, the Knicks were still plus 7,000 to win. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you talked before, <laughs> but let's, let's, let's really talk about this, this trade in depth. You talked before about your issue with the Knicks, <laughs> previous big three of Brunson, Randall, and Barrett all being left-handed. But now they got a right-handed Ananobi in the mix. So what are your thoughts on the Knicks trading R.J. Barrett to the Raptors for OG? Um, I mean, it works for both. 
You know, it works for it works for both parties in a sense. Um, OG is good at what he does. Um, I, I mean, we can argue to see who is better between the two, but they're kind of like the same type of yeah, I must say, they, player. You know, that eighteen to twenty-two, Barrett and Ogden. Ogden. Um, you know, but you have more of a probably a be, I, I, he might be. Oh, is OG a better shooter? No, uh, on paper. On, on, on paper, on paper, he's a better. Shooter. I think Barrett is better just in, in the in, in the flow of the game type joint. But he, on paper, he's been shooting it well. I mean, it, it works. It works for them. It, it clears up. It clears up spacing. I think what it, I think what I like about it is Barrett leaving New York allows Divincenzo, all those other utility guys to step up like they have been, and then you put OG in there, and you're like, we don't need a lot from you, but you're rebounding, your defense. Your shot making, that's it. We don't need you to come in and be the be a guy for us. And I think Barrett was trying to be a guy mm-hmm. when you got Brunson and um, Randall mm-hmm. already the guys. We don't need a a guy trying to be over top of them too. So you get him out. You got a utility guy. He's perfect fit for this. And I think Barrett and uh, Quigley in Toronto is back home. Really nice. Yeah, back home. I, I... Quigley, Quigley comes player. off the bench, though. Yeah, that's the problem. They're the same I mean, they're the they same not. Player. Not they're really. The they not. They not. Quigley is a real maxi type player. What has Andre Bear showed you since he's been in the league? He is slasher. And so he's a tradable piece at all. Tra- like, like he's always going to be a tradable piece. You can always like just throw Wiggins. him in there. He'll be like a Wiggins. He's, he's the work. Yeah, he's he, the work. He's, he is the work. <laughs> I see like, what you did there. But just th- no, but, but I mean, seriously, though, you can always just throw him in a trade, yeah, though. Sure. Like, he's that piece that'd be like, it's a good, in. valuable piece. Yeah, he's gonna give you 18, 18, yeah. 20. Um, I think, I think that coming into the NBA, he was gonna be more of a one. Barrett, mm. he's gonna be more of a one, and they moved him to the two, right? Two, three, and someone who's like him because he's not as fast as everybody else. Mm-hmm. He is better at the one, so he's always in momentum. He's always pushing and pushing and pushing uh, versus catching a ball and then now trying to create this, you know, you're trying to create this momentum with low, with slow foot speed. Right, and he's not feel like he always has to score. Yeah. Like every time he gets it, like he got to score, got to do something instead of just bringing it up. Yeah, Yeah. I mean, because if you put him on the wings and he's not ambidextrous, that means he's only going left. That makes yeah. that, that makes him a liability. But at the point, he can control where, where he, he wants where to go, yeah. and it's not controlled from a positional standpoint right, right, where right. he got to come from the corner and right. oh, I got you, nigga. I'm forcing you this way. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, right, right, right. If I can control it without you dribbling, I know you can control it with you dribbling. So mm-hmm. they just didn't put him in the right positions. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit more about the Knicks. Uh, look great in OG's debut, beating the Wolves, who are currently top seed in the West. And Anobi had 17 points. Jalen Brunson dropped a career high 14 dimes. And Julius Randle led all scores with a 39 piece. And let's talk about Julius Randle in particular. In his last 18 games, he's averaging 28, nine rebounds, four assists, shooting 55% from the field, 83% from the free throw line. Third team All NBA last year. Will Julius Randle make another All NBA team this season? Mm, I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, I think the. Listen, from from the day he got there, right, he's been steady, right? Um, And I I think probably the frustration um, with any fan is they haven't seen a leap in his game, right? It's 22, 23, 24. It's, Mm -hmm. it's, Mm -hmm. no one, you haven't seen that, that I'm averaging, you know, when he averaged 25, you would think, okay, oh, he's going up. 29 yeah. or 30. Like, mm-hmm. it's been just this, this casual, you know, we, we haven't seen that. It's almost get, flukish, yeah, kind of. Yeah, it's like, like, get over the hill. Yeah. Already. It's like, get over the hill already. Yeah. Well, he averaged career high 25 points last year. Uh, yeah. This year, he's averaging 24. So. And then what the year before that? Uh, so the year before his career high, he was averaging 20. So he basically, uh, I'll, I'll read you the last couple of years. So he went 24. Uh, in uh, 2020, 2021, 20, then average 20 the next year, 25 the next year, oh, yeah. and 24 so, this year. Yeah, so basically it went, so it, he didn't, like, it looked like it was a quantum leap because it went 20 to 25, but he averaged 24, right? 
it's like when you 24, then the next year should have been about 26, 28, and you should be sitting here with the rest of the power fours out there averaging about 30. I look at him and I see Zebo, um, Zebo with his own team. Mm -hmm. We never seen Zebo with his own team, and he was still a 2010 guy, mm -hmm. right? So think about Zebo having an opportunity to say, "This is my team, and I'm getting this many shots." Zebo goes from 22 to 27. I think could potentially at that point, the way that he played and how easy he got buckets, he could have been a. I'm not gonna say a All NBA, but potentially he would have been an All Star. Zebo, so he I, made one. Yeah, he did. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at. Randall, like, you know, it's tough for you to progress when your game is only these things and it's limited. Mm -hmm. So if you can't adjust to that, I, I, I like where he is. It's just not going to be all NBA. You think it's the criticism <clears throat> from New York? Yeah, because he can't handle it and he don't know how to adjust to it. But the fact that he's there and he's been in L.A. and these are the two places that he's been are the most criticized places. So why do you think L.A. got rid of him, the Lakers? Too young. Then too young. No, they they got rid of you know they, they got rid of all those pieces to bring to try to win now. Yeah. Remember, so you know th three pieces they got rid of became all stars. Yeah. <laughs> they all three became all stars. Yeah. That D, was it. D'Lo, Randall, D'Lo, Randall, and Ingram. Ingram. Yep. So they got rid of all three of them. They got Jordan Clarkson. Mm -hmm. Like think about the group that they had. They had a nice group. They just didn't. Mm -hmm. They were you too know, young. They were young. young, and they were valuable pieces. So that's what I said. Like with with Randall, like. He needs to take on that responsibility of, like, we shouldn't be questioning who's the number one option between you and Brunson right now. Right. Right? You made the All-Star last year when people were like, well, Brunson should have made it over you. Yeah. Right? That should never be a discussion from anyone. Right? right. It, you, you, you need to, like, <clears throat> stick your head above the water finally and just say, hey, listen, this is my team. It's my team. And, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And, and really demand that, that, that quantum leap. Yeah, but you know why? I remember when they played Milwaukee, uh, when the Knicks had played Milwaukee, at, uh, they played Milwaukee in Milwaukee, and he was walking up the court. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Like, in the crucial time, like, like, but that's been a thing I've heard. Like, if it, yeah. he's lazy, like yeah. he doesn't play hard all the time. So that's probably why. Well, he, he gets won't, mad at little. Like, shit. like he gets mad at little shit. So it's like you could tell he has a little attitude yep. or a little, like you know, what I'm saying he gets a little bitchy a little bit. Yep. Funk yeah. it's like you know. Him like, and Barrett, funk. I think him and Barrett used to get into it. Yeah. Yeah, like when I saw that in Milwaukee, when they had missed a shot and he was walking down and Milwaukee got the easy bucket, I was like, yo, what's wrong with this dude? That's crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like he's a little, I think he's up here, he's a little different. And we talked about it last year, uh, well, not last year, uh, season one, when he did the thing where he walked off early. With, yeah. He had to go hug his wife. I mean, he hugged his wife and then everybody in the team was cheering and he was like, I'm going to go over yeah. here. So it was like, yeah, look, yeah, there's been some signs. There's also some tension, I think, with Nick fans too. I remember they, 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 they drew all over his billboard, ripped it down. They were booing, they were booing them too. That, ain't, that ain't nothing. Man. <laughs> I mean, shit, that ain't nothing. You been to New York. Shit, that you ain't nothing. Been. Shit, when they put, start putting them brown paper bags over their face. Uh, oh, man, this, right? like, hey, man, yeah. fellas, listen. That ain't nothing. And all you sensitive ass players out there, <laughs> Do you really give a fuck if somebody scribble on a poster no. that you didn't even pay for <laughs> or put up? I don't know. It's like, who the fuck give a fuck you? <laughs> Sit there and X my face. That ain't my fucking artwork. That's the artist's artwork. Oh, I'm going to burn your jersey. I didn't make that motherfucker. That's the NBA.com. Do you pay for that? You already so paid for it. that affect me? You know I already what I mean? got the residual. Like you pay for it? Right on it. Like, and that's the silly thing that because people do get mad about right. that. Oh, it crossed my face. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. New York, New York could take a tone on it if you ain't ready for it. Right. That criticism yeah. could eat you up. Man. So Julius Randle, he's got a player option summer of 2025. Should he be in the Knicks' long-term plan? Nah. They're not going to go far with him. Nah. They've been had him long enough. That, yeah, like, okay. It's time to go to Sacramento. I, um... <laughs> just call it... Just no, say no. it like it's a bad thing. The, I mean... The sack is... Shit, your career is over when you go there. Oh, wow. No, no, I'm just like saying the it's, it's... It's... it's you gotta go from there. Hey, from there from that's there. it. You can't go to sack. You, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's yeah. you right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Go you gotta go from there. Yeah, go like, from like there. Like D Fox, they all good. They good. They, they good. Yeah, yeah. They, they, but did anybody go in there? Uh, all the Kings fans watching this are calling you a naysayer right now under their breath. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, you know, when you're when you're talking about third third team, right? In a sense, he's he's top fifteen. Yeah. Right? He's but, top fifteen, right? If it's fifteen, he is top fifteen. So um, if he is leaving, 
you're, when you trade, you're going to have to trade as he's a top 15 player. It's not like we're, we did that. I mean, we're not like, let's, we, we can't, because it's, you hear his name, we can't act like he's not averaging 24 and 10 and he's out, like his, his numbers are going to speak for itself. His name might not, you know, he he might, appealing. And it might be like a lemon to some people, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Um, but yeah, he might not get over the hump, but he's still putting in, you know, 20, anywhere from 22 to 24 in 12. So, you know, even if that's not my first option, that's a hell of a second option. Oh, that's a hell of a second option. He'd be good in Memphis. Ooh. Memphis could use him. Ooh. Ooh. I think that's a perfect destination. Memphis? Fuck it. But who goes to New York? It don't matter. It don't matter. Nobody. It don't matter. It don't matter. Memphis. So let's, let's Memphis. make it matter for a second. Let's make it okay. matter. Like, who gets, who gets to go to New York if he leaves, and let's say Brunson's not in the long-term plans, they need a whole fresh... I feel like Brunson, just because his contract and the yeah. value they got is on it, it. The problem with Brunson is um, he's the most... Brunson is the most valuable piece that they have mm -hmm. because of his production and how much he makes compared to everyone else, right? He is someone that, like... But the problem with the Knicks is you're not going to get back Brunson type of talent or, yeah. with Brunson's pay. Right. Everybody that's paid around the same mark, he's going to he's out playing. Right. Right. Um, so whenever you try to throw Brunson in the trade, it's going to have to like literally it's Brunson and Randall for a superstar. So let's say let's <laughs> you know change I mean? it. And be honest, I'm like, mm, I might take that. Um, you know what I mean? So you got to give away you, two. Then you're doing what they did with Amari. They starting all the way fresh, right? So let's just say they keep Brunson. They get rid of Randall. Who replaced? Who does New York bring in for Randall? Listen, one New Zion. York. New York, no. Zion from no. Randall head up. No. 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 Because Potential for no, the reason. The reason is because <laughs> because Zion hasn't he hasn't shown me that he's ready to really like take it serious, right? When if I if I can see the signs, then yeah, um, New York is that franchise that you need to get rid of your friends. Mm. If you say you're an mm -hmm. owner and this is a business, get rid of your friends from working your job. Because your friends don't know what the fuck they're doing. You're right. They're, 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 you spend the every year, every year when the numbers come out of who spent the most money. <laughs> New York Knicks. You and the Lakers. You Lakers, Boston. One, two, three, four in a sense, right? You top four every year. One has 18 championships. The other has 18 championships. Your ass sitting there with nothing. Mm -mm -mm. But you're spending championship money. So that means whoever is at the grocery store looking for items don't know what the fuck they're looking at. They so they need, to find, <laughs> they need to revamp all y'all. Hey, all y'all all for the last 18 years that's been in here. Get the fuck out of here. right? And I need to bring in people who actually understand. They're doing their, they have a horrible research team on what talent is because they should have had stars. Yep. Yeah. New York needs one first. They should be looking for a star, period. Period. I don't give a fuck who I got to give up. I want a star. I want a Jalen Green, Edwards, right? I, I want a superstar name first, and then I'm going to build my team. Like when... when, when um, and we thought it was stupid because it, it seemed like the same type of player, right? <laughs> Trey Young and and um, Dejounte. No, no, no. Trey Young and Mark Cuban. Them, right? All Mark Cuban's researchers said, "Get Luca." Mm. His research researching team mm. said, "That's him. He's the dude in this draft." So we 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 want to trade. <laughs> we want to trade. We want to trade. Mm -hmm. And that's why they made that trade. They got a good research team. They got a good research team, right? Now I got Luca, and every year is trying to put pieces with him. Okay, we don't like you. 
Nah, okay, you, he don't get along with you, and that's what it is. Get you a superstar, and then build from there. Think the next they got rid of Przingis and Brunson. Nigga, they got rid of <laughs> Dennis, Dennis, uh, Dennis Smith first. Yeah, they can, and I'm sitting here like, woo! Dennis. Yeah, but they can all go. Like <laughs> the Knicks need the Knicks. Yeah, they can all go. They're, they're amateurs. Yo, they can. The Knicks need a Melo, a Carmelo Anthony. Ain't Carmelo, no Carmelo. Like, like they need something. Like I think uh, Anthony Carmelo, Edwards. You mean a Lamelo Ball? No, no. I'm saying they, the Knicks need that type of player. Like a Carmelo. No. Like like Carmelo Anthony is the biggest thing the Knicks have had since. Pat them. Man, like before, no, no, no. He probably is the biggest thing that they had. No, no I know since Pat, Pat Ewing it was the team. Well, Walt Frazier. Patrick Ewing was that dude. Yeah. Ain't nobody was selling no Patrick Pearl Ewing. Pearl to Pearl. Yeah, how many no, billboards y'all put Patrick Ewing face on? John <laughs> Sparks? Put it, yeah, what do you average? 5, 10, 15? I mean, I'm talking about... He dunked on Jordan. When I'm talking about... Do you practice yeah. that shot? When no, I'm no, talking no, no, about... No, 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 when we're yeah. talking about sell selling... Yeah, selling, yeah. I'm selling. When I'm talking, when I'm talking about a product, when people say Jalen Green, you can sell Jalen Green's face to any single woman in New York. I can have all kind of girls coming in there. I can I can put his face on billboards with his shirt off and all of that. That's that's marketing. Yeah, can't do that with Randall. Can't, can't do that with with, with Jalen Brunson right now. But that's no, they but, need but, Anthony but, Edwards. But you but you got to have somebody who can play, who game does it too. You yeah. need someone yeah. like who who was the guy who's jumped forty four inches in your in your in your franchise history? Who's going to be the Vince Carter? No, Oben Toppin was the closest. No, but that's what I'm saying. You, you, Indy. You, but you need your super. They need a superstar like New York. I mean, uh, like Chicago had a Michael Jordan and a D Rose and all a Zach. Le you need guys that that can like you can. Okay, we got our foundation. Now let's build them up. But how many of those packaged guys are there? Anthony, just one. All they need is uh, Anthony. Uh, uh, sitting in small cities. You got like Ja, you got ja, ja fits it. Aunt, Zach hits it. Zach, Zach Levine, Zach, right? J Jalen I'm, Green. Zach. I'm, so who else? I guess the question for you guys is why, why don't those players want to go play in New York? When you talk about. Somebody said I'm wrong on you, and <laughs> so he's cute, huh? <laughs> Damn! All right, I'm, I'm talking to like they're talking about the game. I'm talking about the like marketing uh, peel. Yeah, the, yeah. The <laughs> when or, you're talking with when, when 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 we're talking about the 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 NBA, when I'm selling a person, right? When I'm selling something as an NBA, look at the people that they're selling. Yep. Right. When Jordan came in, oh yeah. And with Kobe, yeah, yeah, I can, I can sell that. Yeah. Well, it's an easy sale. Well, why does it? Why is it New York, New York, that premier destination? Obviously, L.A., Lakers, Knicks. It seems like those two squads. If I'm a superstar in the NBA, that's where I want to end up. I think it is. It's just that motherfuckers don't end up being there because they do such bad business. I think motherfuckers want to go to New York because it's that, New York. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna say New York. It's like, New like, York. I pay for the next bro. That it's different. That's what I'm saying. Like, day, it's bro. different. Mello, like, like, like that's a, you have Lamelo. You have uh, Kid. You know, time in my life. Was it Paolo? Work. Benchero. Yeah, Pablo. Yeah. Benchero. Ben like you got you got kids. Like you got to know what you're looking at, and I don't think their front office actually knows what they're looking at. You're just grabbing pieces. Yeah. Right, you just got a whole bunch of pieces trying to make a meal instead of getting the foundation of the turkey first. And you know, they, right, they get, the turkey, get your turkey first. That's what, <laughs> the, the, the Thanksgiving ass. is all around the turkey first, and then you build your sides. They like, they like ramen noodles, man. Go get the turkey. Like they, don't, don't want, they don't want no whole foods. They will go get the ramen, put that shit on the stove, put that shit up, serve <laughs> it to the people. Do you feel like new ownership would, would breathe new life into that franchise? Obviously, Knicks fans for a long time, according to a certain individual. Wait, who's uh, over there now working it? Is it World Wide West over there? Yeah, he in there. Right? Yeah. Leon Rose. Yeah. I mean, they, got, they, 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 they got Brunson. That's what they, they got Brunson over they there. Got Leon, Leon you got, and all you got people making they got moves, people. but it, it all starts at the top. <laughs> so if you have, you have a figure at the top that fans and, and former players aren't really rolling with, taking away people's free tickets, you know, there, there's a lot. Of yeah, I, I'm just saying. That who, 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 I don't know who's over there, but whoever's over there had three left-handed players playing on the same side. And thought it was so, a good idea. And yeah. thought it was a good idea. <laughs> yeah, thought it was a good idea. Let's I do this. We can, you know what I mean? So I, I'm just saying. Next. Uh, let's, get this, let's, Next. Next. let's get this thing Next. moving with a little hibachi time. Next on them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> so, Gil, you talked about Luca a little bit earlier, but let, let's really dive in. Luca closed out his 2023 by getting buckets and joining some elite company. So on Christmas, Doncic gave the Suns a 50 piece and in the process became the fastest action player to surpass 10,000 points, accomplishing the feat in only 358 games, which is seventh fastest in league history. Luca also became the sixth player in NBA history to score 10,000 points 
before turning 25. We got that list as well. So the other players are LeBron James, KD, Kobe, Carmelo Anthony, Tracy McGrady. So, so far in his career, Luka won Rookie of the Year, four-time All-Star, four-time All-NBA First Team selection, and he also has a EuroLeague MVP that he got before coming to the league. Mm -hmm. He's led the match to the playoffs three times, including a Western Conference Finals appearance in 2022. But when you look at that list of other players under 25 to, to score to 10K, LeBron, KD, Kobe, Melo, Tracy McGrady, where, does, where do you rank Luka amongst those other players? At 25 or just that, right now? At the same at comparable age. Ooh, at the same age. Same age. Not, I mean, I can't compare Luca's whole career to, or, I mean, Luca's career to what they did in their entirety. Number same six. Same age. I'm putting them in number Ooh. six. At the same age? At 25? Then with, with who? All the numbers, the names they just put. He's he, he the next name. At 26? He's, he's going to be in them. front of Melo. And by 25? I mean, I could put him in front of all, all of them. Because he, because the nah, list, he's gonna be, he's not not the be list before that, the not list he ain't gonna be in front of Kobe either. Yeah. But the list before that, the youngest player to reach ten, there wasn't no modern players right here. Yeah, no, the other, so the other, yeah, list. ain't no modern players in that. That's fewest games. That's fewest games. Game. Other, other guys under twenty five. So, so he's the quickest yeah, so, player to get so to ten K. Bron, KD. Uh -huh. Fewest games. That's fewest games, not the age. So among active. No, players, I understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but I'm saying even even the fewest games getting a 10K in that many games. By 25, Kobe was a six-time All Star, but he hadn't reached 10 10,000. By 25, before that, like I'm saying, yeah. like if it's, if Kobe was 24, yeah before turning 25, so Kobe Kobe made that he had 10K before turning 25. Before 20, yeah, so this before is before 20. 25, so we're ranking him that. So Kobe was a six-time All Star by then. LeBron was probably a. And list, list predominantly guys who came straight out of high school, too, LeBron, so they had yeah, that extra so LeBron, year. Yeah, so uh, LeBron, when he went to, shit, when he went to Miami, he was that. So two MVPs and shit? Yeah, so <laughs> them two in front of him. But sure. think about it. Luka, four-time, first-team All-NBA, four-time All-Star, mm -hmm. rookie of the year. He only in his fifth year right now? Like, it up. Damn. that means every year from now on, he's going to be <laughs> first yeah. team all NBA all star until he get the MVP or start winning. It's like, okay, how many first team all NBA? Six seasons for Luka. Six. 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 So year he's got six. four. So his yeah. first two years, he didn't get no accolades. He got rookie of the year. That's what I said. Go to Kobe because I'm sure Kobe was a six time all star by that age. Yeah, so Kobe had 25. won three rings. That nigga yeah. Uh, <laughs> that <fucking> shit <laughs> as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so 98, uh, 2000, 01, 02, 02. I think at least. Six time Yeah. So, he, so, yeah, so see, so he was a six time All Star by then. LeBron was probably about a five star All Star by then. Already had two MVPs mm -hmm. already as an individual. So the earliest he can get is what, third? Yeah. Because he above T Mac. I don't know. T Mac, how many All Stars? 25. He probably was at three. Three. Yep, three. LeBron had six. So, LeBron had six also. T Mac had six? No. No, so T Mac would have had three because he came off the bench the first couple years. Yeah. So Until that, Orlando. He made, his, he made his fifth one at age 25. So he, so he was five. So when it comes to All Stars itself, they're in front of Luca. Yep. So. But Luca, I mean, he'll make, obviously. Mm -hmm. He'll make it this year. This so year. He, so he, he's anywhere at just I put off him at that six. three or four. Or oh, you put him three, four? Because he'll be in front of, he'll be in front of Melo. Yeah, he's in front of Melo. He'll be in front of Melo. But Bron and Kobe's gonna take a minute. Yeah. KD at 25, he already had a scoring title, I'm sure. Two of them. Right? Yeah. And, and yeah. Because I think he had made the finals already before mm -hmm. too. But they don't count playoffs, right? No. No. No, I like, Shitty, I really I mean, like that. I mean, to be honest, he's still at. I like I mean, Luka. he's he's the only person he's in front. Four scoring titles by 30, by 25. What happened? Four scoring titles. So, KD, KD has KD. four scoring Damn. 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 When he turned 25, he won the fourth one. So, Damn. Lucas, the only person Lucas in front of is, will be Melo. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. And that's a good. And that's good. I'm that's just really saying. fucking that's good. Not, that's not a knock or criticism. I mean, that's a that's a illustrious list to be a part of. You know why, though? Because Luke out there getting triple doubles, like Westbrook shit. So, for me to look at that list and say, yeah, I could put these guys over them talent-wise, because they're more talented. Yeah. The accolades is another thing, but I'm looking at what this dude is doing. I'm like, yo, he's going to pass them real quick. But, th but that's what I'm saying. If we stop them all at the same age, he's, he's five. 
So out of that six, he's five. Right now at the same age. That's what I said. One has four score. Damn. Four scoring titles. One was two-time MVP already at that age. You throw Luca in um, during that era, you think he keep doing what he's doing? What would be the difference in his game? The, the difference is... The difference is... Um, remember his size and what you... Remember, he's you, but bigger. But what, what Luca does that he has an advantage over is because there's no big men back there, when he starts getting yeah. in that area, yeah. he ain't got he's that. the biggest mm -hmm. in the area. Yep. Right, you know, back then when you when your defense, which made the hardest defense in NBA history, ninety nine to like two thousand three, is because those guys from the nineties, that 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 ninety five era, they were getting, they were old enough, and now your your four man is six ten, six eleven, yeah, and your five man. So now when you go to the lane, you have two basically seven footers back there versus. Early, the early 80s, I mean, uh, early 90s and the 80s were, you know, Charles Barkley yeah, just, and those oh, guys are 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, Charles Oakley. Right, the Charles Oakley, the, you know, everybody was still undersized. You know, they were the brute players. Yep. Right, so when the brute players got out because everybody was scared of Shaq. So all those new guys coming in and yeah. KG. These are bigger guys. Now, I don't want to go against Shaquille O'Neal. I'm going to the motherfucking four. Yeah. <laughs> right, so now, what, so, basically, so basically in history, Shaquille O'Neal messed up history yeah. in a sense. Where, for, for like Alonzo and all. Yeah, yeah, know. so you got that. But think about the KGs and you think about the uh, Van Horns and the Tim Duncans and all these guys that were supposed to be the next generation of fives. They're like Fuck no. Yeah. And they went to the four. So when you talk about what happened to the five man, they became four men. Yeah. Mm. They all became fours, and then our fives got washed out. Back then, it was all fives, really was no fours. So what Luca's game, would you, like, what I see his biggest asset is be the perimeter, step back, the pick and roll. Mm -hmm. I think he kills in our era with that, in his size, because it goes back to Grant Hill, Penny Hardaway. You're like, how did they kill? If they moved, they shifted, because you talk about the guys never seen a guy that tall with this kind of movement. But I'm looking at Luca, and I'm just like, as slow as he moves, he's Paul Pierce at the point guard position. Yeah, so what ended up, so there's two things that would go on, like a pick and roll then, right? It's gonna be a blitz in the track. We're gonna blitz. I was just gonna thinking, we're gonna it, blitz. Hard show, blitz, get yes, under. Get it out of, get out so of hands. So now he can set a pick and roll with a guy, boom, and then it's a switch. Yes. Now he has the slowest guy or the worst defender on him. And he's, I'm a shake and bake, right? I, imagine that I get to go against DeAndre Jordan and guys like that the whole time. Whew. Right? I'm gonna just set a pick and Antoine Jameson's man gets to switch out on me the whole time. Hell yeah. Come get me. Yeah, because I'm gonna go in. He gonna back up, step back. All right, what's up, big fella? Like I get, I get to go against fours and fives on my one on ones versus twos and threes. I'm get Kobe off me. Here, come in here, Lamar Odom. Yeah. Come in here, Luke Walton. Kwame. Yeah, bring y'all motherfucking asses out here. Let's go. Like you know what I mean. So, um, but greatness is gonna be greatness, right? You know, he's gonna figure out how to be great. Yeah. Right, and that's just the thing. Because he's good. Yeah. You know, like. His advantage is I'm a point, not a three. Now, if he was a three and he has to sit there and come off down screens and try to get the ball and then work from there, it becomes harder versus I got How do you guard that? Hey, 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 how do you guard that? Hey, hold on. How are you guarding that? Hey, hold on. You said, you said if he played in your era? Our era. With, with, so, so if he played in your era with, with Dirk? On Dirk's team? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. How many championships? How you think, guarding that? How many championships do you think they're winning? They'll win one more. Don't, we don't know. You know why? He's a better Steve Nash to me. But that's a problem. So you don't think that Dallas team beat Miami? The first time? With Luka? I think so. With Luka, hell yeah. We don't hell know. Because yeah. what Luka... Dwayne Wade there was okay, 40. So, <laughs> like, in high... No, no, no. Dwayne Wade average 40. What I'm saying is, in hindsight, we all, we all think that names are what makes the team, right? So I was there when Steve... I'm playing against Steve Nash in Dallas, mm -hmm. right? Um... He wasn't Steve. He wasn't the potent Steve. Right. Because he has dirt. Mm -hmm. Right? So okay. when he did stuff, it was give it the dirt. 
Now, Dirk does what he's, he's doing. So who Steve Nash was was limited yes. to his ability, right? So he was just a guy, hey, just push him over the top, you know, do, do, do. That's, that's Steve Nash. So Steve Nash was top 24, maybe, right? They get rid of him saying he's not, he's old. Yeah. He only asked for 55 million, Steve Nash. They'd rather pay a six-man, Jason Terry, that type of money, mm. right? He goes to Phoenix. They win 19 games. Mm. Just him and say, all right, this is, your, this is what you got. Now he has a guy on a pick and roll that's going to the basket. Amari don't need the ball in the post. Amari don't need ball in the ISO. Okay. Amari needs the ball just running to the basket where he can dunk. So now Steve Nash unlocks these new levels of him because he becomes the number one option. Right, he becomes the number one. Oh, boom! Ah, 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 ah. Mm. Okay, because he don't need to pass it to someone that has that's gonna take away that. No, no, no! Watch out, move! Mm -hmm. Right, and that becomes the thing. So same thing with Luca. As a, as great as we want to say Luca is, if he's with Dirt, is gonna be the same way. Whatever you do, come on. Huh? Oh, you no. finish? Uh -huh. You finish? I think it's, I I think it's a bigger you, two-headed muscle. That's what I said. I don't it's know. a bigger two-headed muscle because now Dirk knows that. Luca can do what I can do. And Steve Nash could have did the same thing. Nah, nah. nah. But, Dirt, but Dirt wasn't, that's what I'm saying, Dirt wasn't the type where you do the pick and roll, probe, give it back to him, and then he shoots it. He has to go into his, his bag. He got to do his bag, right. He has to go into his bag. So we taking turns. Him and Luca taking turns. You'd it's my that, turn. You would have thought that was Steve Nash. Remember Steve no. Nash. Remember though, Michael Luca Finley. Luca taller though. Yes. That's what I'm saying, Luca taller. There was a team, they, they had this on the team. Steve Nash, Finley, um, Shimmy Shake, Antoine Walker, Ray La France, all of them. And, uh, uh, Antoine Jamerson. So think about all the names and score they had, and then the team they win a the championship with: Barrera, Jason, <laughs> like because it, it was a team now. Oh, for sure, it for was sure. a team now. But if you think about the the small lineups of point guards, like you said, you took advantage of guys because you six four, and the biggest point guard was mm -hmm. six three and a half, maybe. So Luca's looking down like, oh, I got Gilbert on me tonight. He's six four. I'm give me this bitch. Mm -hmm. It's my turn over here. Yeah, my hey, turn. Dirk, it's your turn. But bring it back over here because yeah. he subbed out. Now it's Steve Blake over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, bring that bitch down. That's yeah. what I'm saying. But Steve so, Nash couldn't do that because they're all the same size. Steve Nash, it would have to be a different way. Steve Nash couldn't do what Jay Kidd. When he was in Phoenix. But, but no, no, no. And when when Steve when 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 Jay Kidd came to Dallas when they won it. And what did Jason, what's the Jason, what did Jason, uh, Jason uh, Kidd do? He was nothing. Oh, now nah, he ran the show. Ran, no, he ran the fast break. He ran the show. He ran the fast break. He ran the show. Uh, he ran the show. Hey, he's, when Jason I, Kidd ran the show, when and I, he was coaching. When and I got he was the, coaching. When I got the ball in the fast break, go. That's his half, game, but that's his game. Half court, sit set it up. The corner. He was a corner dude. Now That's what I'm saying. Because in that half court, it's dirt. Right? Tony Parker. Fast break, me and Ginobili get our thing. Half court, Tim. But ain't that running the show still? I think without Jason Kidd, Dallas never win that championship. He was, he, was a, he was a factor in the fast break. The half court, he was just going the corner. That's why they had to put Barrera and Jason Terry in that. Day. I agree, because he couldn't move, he couldn't do what they did. No, he, couldn't, he wasn't an offensive. Right. He wasn't a. He was a spot up shooter. No, no, for time. sure. But this right here, though. You run it, yeah, run this it. This right here, yeah. doing all that. And I'm still Get your ass right there, y'all. Yeah. 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 And it's that. all about IQ, but what I'm saying is if you're going back and forth between Luka and Dirt, it's, it's, it's no difference than him and Kyrie right now, right? It's, you're sitting there fighting for who's going to get the ball at the end of the game, how many times you're going to get the possession, right? You, yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm telling that, that, Kyrie. That's that's big, I'm that's telling big, Kyrie to move that's around. That's a big part of like, it. Hey, Kyrie, go get a not, slushy and some popcorn, bro. No, no I'm just saying it's, it's like you, you're trying to figure out like, it's Ooh, realms. Who playing different realms? Who go get some popcorn? And Kyrie, like, go get a slushy I'm, and some no, popcorn. I'd rather, we'll see you after the game. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I'd rather have I'd rather have KD with dirt, because KD's one to pull up. Right, he's gonna a spot up shooter. It's quicker. It's quicker where I don't take away from dirt. If you got both guys needing the ball for 10, 15 seconds that. to do what they're going to do to get in their comfort zone, it kind of hurts. Because you don't have to worry about giving assist to Dirk because Dirk's going to do his ISO he's, thing. He's, he's not going to be an he's, assist. He's, he's an assist killer. Yeah. And that's why I like him. <laughs> so KD don't mind that. He's like, oh, you're going to fuck and, my and, shit and up And for anyway. people to, like, oh, he's an assist killer. 
any guy who needs to post up, Shaquille O'Neal's <laughs> assist killer, uh, Tim Duncan's assist killer, any guy who needs you, pass it to him, and they got to wait, Kobe, clear out. Kobe, Kobe, Mike, all of them. That's considered an assist killer. Yeah, for sure. You know, yeah, your best, y'all usually your best like that. Yeah, usually your best player is assist killer. So when you got guys that, um, that have a whole bunch of assists, they don't have a dominant guy that, that sits mm-hmm. yeah. and waits for everybody to clear out. So like when Halliburton. You think, when you think about Halliburton, yep. he don't have that guy in a half court. He is that guy. Yep. So when you say, all right, now we're going to team you up with Embiid. Uh, he would go down. It goes down. Yeah. No, that's a fact. Because fact. Embiid, you don't need to create a shot for Embiid. Right, you, you're not gonna sit there and run around with the ball, and then Embiid is just sitting here like. He can still get ten though. He can still get because Embiid gonna shoot that pop, that drop, that drop pass. He gonna pop, pop. That's where James got his ten from. No, James got his ten for everybody else. Come on, man. You don't get just like Maxi. Maxi's getting assists from everybody. You seen him? He did the pick and roll, pass it to Embiid. Embiid got a jumper. He's like, ah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he do be doing that yeah, shit I hate that. too. Yeah. I hate that. I'm like, bro, you wide open. <laughs> Listen, why do I, you have yeah, to? I'm about to say, if I come up the pick, I might as well just come down and, and give it to you. You go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right, don't have me coming off and <laughs> doing all nigga, my shoot shit. it. <laughs> but that's but, <laughs> shoot it. But, but, but no, but that was the that was the research I was doing when I remember when they uh, someone wrote something that's like, yo, Gil. They need a point guard because Gil don't have a, a bunch of assists. And it's like, I passed the ball so much, I don't even do it. So I did the research on all the people who have assists. And the, 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 the research was that as, if you have a dominant guy on your team and you're a point guard, you're not going to have a lot of assists yep. if he plays a certain style. So um, with John Stockton, those are catch and shoot type catch guys. And shoot. Yep. Right? You got yep. the catch and shoot. Yep. So same thing with, with um, Steve Nash. You have Amari. Right, but this is how Amari plays. Yes, right. Yeah. So when you got that back to the basket, so no, somebody with Tim Duncan, as long as you had Tim Duncan, Tony Parker not giving. You're not gonna have t- t- Tony Parker's not gonna have tennis right, right. Not even close. No, not even. Yeah. You know what right, I mean? Right, right, so right. it's. If, if he do, that means they hitting shots that night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bruce yeah. Bowen and yeah. all that. Yeah. 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 The rest yeah. of the team. Yeah. yeah. And then most assists he had was like seven or eight. Yeah. Same, yeah. Same thing. Maybe. With, it's the same thing with Michael Jordan, right? Yeah. You got Michael Jordan on the team. You're not creating shots for Michael Jordan. That's why when I remember when I told Eddie, and I said, you know, my theory still kicks in, right? When he has Steve Nash, Kobe, Dwight, and um, and Paul Gasol. Oh, Paul Gasol, yeah. I said, yeah. So I said, I, I said, Steve Nash is no different than Steve Blake at this point. You might as well better put Steve Blake in the corner because he he at least knows his role, right? Having Steve Nash, they're gonna be a corner shooter because Kobe gonna go through his shit. Paul Gasol gonna go through his, right? So, yeah. what do you need, Steve Nash, yeah. pick and roll and doing all that? Because they're not gonna catch that and shoot it. That's, yeah. why, that's why I yeah. look so nasty. That's why I look so nasty. Damn, yeah. that's the triangle, though. Yeah. I think I, I'm looking at Mike and Kobe in the triangle. I'm like, they did the same moves because they trained for the same way in the offense. Mm-hmm. You can't put a Steve Nash in a triangle yeah. and expect him to be yeah. Steve Nash. The, tri- the triangle is for one person yep. to score. Everybody else is the triangle for people around. who can't hoop. And, 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 <laughs> for niggas who can't hoop. And, 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 <laughs> No, no, it's in the Go, run in the triangle. In run the triangle. In the corner. <laughs> Ass can't hoop. And aver- it was so funny is the average, the average, the average fan watching will sit, and this is when they say, your takes is stupid. Right? He just says anything. No, I'm saying something you don't know. You have right. no clue about what I'm right. talking That's about. No clue. Let a naysayer no. right? know. So when you say this, <laughs> when you say the triangle, right, and you say Michael Jordan, and then I say, all right, who led the team in assists? Was it ever the actual point guard? When Never. you go back and look at the point guard and what they did, the only thing they did was bring the ball up the court. And run to the Other court. Other than that, run, to, run your monkey ass. <laughs> Randy Brown. Right? And you better Steve hope, and you, and you better hope stack, they come John back this way. Okay, John like, that ball is going to go to the mid post. And you better hope. With Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan going to do the clear out, right? So mm-hmm. what it, however Michael Jordan get the ball, it wasn't from the point guard's creation. Yes. Right? So Scottie Pippen led it because Scottie Pippen is, for the most part, the one... By the, if Jordan don't have it, he's the one that's making the extra other passes to anyone else that's open. Same thing with Michael Jordan. Yep. Right? You have Derek Fisher. You got all these guys, right? That's what that's what hurt Gary Payton in that offense. Because mm-hmm. Gary's used to the ball. Okay. Right? So Gary averaged 20 the year before that. See, he's used to doing his yes. thing, and Kobe's like, no, no, that's not this offense, bro, bro. Relax. Get your ass in that corner. Mm-hmm. And he's like, this is not what I do. Fish! Fish. Show, show him, show him, fish. fish. Show him where you're supposed to be. <laughs> show him what you're supposed to do. Hey, hey, Gary, right here, goddamn it, Gary. I'll shoot the three like that. Oh, that, that, sit your ass, sit your, hey, ass, sit down. your ass down. You and Carl, sit your, sit your ass down. Fucking park it, 
Right? And, and people don't understand mm -hmm. an offense, a strategy. When you have someone who's sitting there getting you every year, you can say who's the top four people who are going to be in the championship. How, how is their point guard playing? Right? Who, who's averaging 10 assists? All right, we can narrow y'all down. I mean, you, your point guard averaging about five, five and a half, seven, right? And you have a, a, a leading score. Your, your chances enhances, right? Yeah, yeah. Think about the teams we're saying right now has the best chance of winning a championship, right? How many assists do Murray take? Mm. Not that many, right? Nope. It's Joker, yep. right? The best player. Mm -hmm. um, Boston. Well, right? I look don't at think Drew. I don't yeah, think yeah, Drew has a lot. Like five, five. I'll say, yeah, right? five. Yeah. <laughs> um, go to uh, Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Damn. Right? Yeah. You go to Philly. Max. Right? Miami? Yep. <laughs> right? Those guys, like, oof. you can't have, your, your best player can't be, I look like this, if your point guard is doing exactly what he is great at, making everyone better, that means your team ain't that fucking good if you got to make you better. Right. Mm. Well, well, that was kind of my point with the triangle offense with Kobe and Mike. When we look at the greatest players of all time and why we had a conversation and then LeBron in is, is injected in that conversation, I say, we can't inject LeBron in until he plays in the triangle. Because we compare Mike and Kobe because they played in the triangle. They played the same offense, they got the same shots, they had the same style. We didn't see any other players play in the triangle that wasn't them too. So LeBron now is being injected, is being compared to Michael Jordan without the fucking without the triangle offense where we get to see his skill set. He not bringing the ball up. He don't got to pass the ball. We get to see you in ISO situations. One, two, dribble. What you got? You got the spin? You got the footwork? You got the fadeaway? We seen LeBron in free-flowing offensive scenarios where the conversation between the three of them, it just leaves Kobe and Mike to me because he didn't play in the triangle. No, nah, but you can't, you can't justify what their skill level was. Their skill level was one-on-one. -on -one. So if, as long as you're... The triangle. But no, that's just their skill in the we triangle. We don't know because they didn't play any outside of that. They didn't play outside but of the But the triangle. triangle is ISO. That's what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is that that's what their skill was. If they had a skill so like I can put... You can put every one-on-one -on -one player in the ISO. But right? Because all it is is... All, all the ISO is, I'm going to start with the ball here, right? We're going to move it here, boom, 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 to get it back to you to by you yourself. To you on yourself, no. yes, yes. That's, the, that's really, you know, same thing with Shaq. They had to create. Yes. They had to create part of it to get it down to the big yes. fella, right? But yeah. the big fella in Orlando was the big fella in Orlando. Right. So he had to add in something where the ball went down to Shaq sometime. Right. Or, you know, change, the, change it for them. But other than that, it was just, we're going to swing it to swing it back, right? We're gonna shift the defense to get it back to you. So how would Mike or Kobe look in the offense you play, the Princeton style offense? Same, Princeton, is, Princeton is the triangle. That's all the Princeton is, it's a triangle. And it's a, it's a, it's a variation where it's more, in, it's more in depth because we can start it's it. It's more actions. We can start more actions, yeah. right? We can do yeah. uh, forwards out, boom, boom, yes, boom. Yes. But at the end of the day, all it is is just moving someone to put them on a other I think y'all offense was better than theirs because it gave a lot of, a lot of players player. freedom. Yeah. That's what, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. It wasn't just centralized. Because if it was centralized on you, I think you averaged more. No, if you no, was no, running no. in a triangle type shit, Trust. you yeah. go yeah, no, kill yeah. them niggas. Like, oh, like, whoa. Because yeah. like, I mean, <laughs> let, let's, shit. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's people touch the ball when I'm on fire. Right. Right when you're talking about um, when you're talking about like uh, offense like Princeton and offense like um, the triangle, when Kobe's on fire, right, the offense itself can stop his fire. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. right. If you know, you know, we're Kobe's over here, and we start the offense over there to get it to him. Something breaks down over here, and they decide to shoot the ball. Yes, and, you know, so there can be times now he got, you know, come on. Over yeah, here. bring it back over right? here. Bring it over here, and, and that becomes the thing. So, you know, when you have those type of free-flowing offense for the team to touch the ball a little bit, you know, it, it's, you know, but the offense, as long as you have a, a main star, you can add in, you know, um, the triangle. Um, today's game could use the triangle yes. more because, and it, it what, what, what it'll do in today's game is it'll stop a lot of bad shooters yep. Yep. from being able to just chuck the ball up when they're open. Absolutely. Like, that's the one thing, like, the coach needs to say, you're open for a reason. Yeah. 
right? We don't need <laughs> you shooting. Like for the defense, yeah, that's who they, they want the worst shooter shooting the shots, and you are the worst shooter feeding into them. And we got more Lamar Odom type players, the the, the point forward type. Tall, slanky, like guys a, can move. But imagine if Lamar Odom was taking 17 shots and six threes a game. <laughs> that works in... Uh, or your favorite, whoever we play. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Right, well, let, let's keep this thing moving. We talked about Luka. Let's talk a little bit about Trey. Uh, Trey Young's coming off of one of the best months in his career. Mm. So this past December, Ice Trey became the first player in league history to average 30-plus points, 12-plus assists, while making four-plus three-pointers per game. And shout-out to his pops. Ray Young, boy, you look just like your daddy, <laughs> brings to people's attention <laughs> because, you know, Trader never gets the love that he deserves. Wait, his pops wrote that? Yeah, so his, his pops, pops wrote it? His pops had to put that up to let the world know. I, I, I rock with his dad. His dad goes hard. You know, he's always going to ride for his son, but it's always very fair and honest with his approach. Also a fan of Gills Arena, presented by Underdog Fantasy. Woo -woo. Woo -woo. Do, not, do not know if he's uh, downloaded the Underdog Fantasy app and used promo code Gill to get that $100 <laughs> deposit match. But even if he hasn't, you should. All right, and uh, see how we do that? Trey also had a streak of seven straight games with 30-plus points and 10-plus assists, which tied Oscar Robertson for the longest in league history. Uh, you know, we've seen Trey hated on and slandered in years past, but where does Trey rank among the league's best point guards in, in your guys' humble opinions? Right now, he's in that somewhere between six and eight. Okay. Right. You know, you can argue that it's six, seven, eight around that range because he's the he's giving you the thirty that the rest of them too, but he's giving you the ten assists, which most of them in the top five aren't doing, right? Um, and you know, him and Hallenburton, they're they're both that pass first, and they get those assists, and they're putting up points. So it's they're the outliers. Yeah. They're the two outliers right now that everyone is like, one is getting recognized because, but think about what he has to do. And that's, that's what the I'm saying. Yeah, that's what Look I'm what saying. Look what Hollywood has to damn. do. Yes. Like, oh, right? he got to do I, a lot. I got to give you 20 and 20 with zero <laughs> assists for you to highlight the shit. Zero, oh, and yeah, that's, zero I was just thinking, I'm like, I didn't hear nothing about this Trey Young shit. No, I didn't either. I'm just like, yo, he been doing yeah. what? Like, it's been quiet. Is it a black ball thing? Because they're not, they're not pushing him. This, but this is the thing about Trey that I thought was also interesting. He's never played with another all-star in his career. That's crazy. And to have the success that he's had and to get the knock that he's had. And you talked about this before. You put him on a team like the Lakers or a team with other stars, and those numbers, maybe the scoring goes down, but the assists go way up just playing with that style. But it just seems like he's one of those guys that kind of in that same world as Westbrook where people, for some reason, just always want to hate on his game. Can I, can I, can I for a second? Mm -hmm. I played with Al Jefferson. He was averaging like, 26, 27, and 13, bro. Like two seasons. Didn't get no love, no all-star, no none of that. And I'm feeling like he's getting that type of small market. You ain't on TV enough. We don't see what the big hype is about with you. We're not going to stand behind you. Like, we're not going to be with you. But it's like he's consistently destroying these dudes out here. And it's unfair. It's really unfair. It's It's... I think I know who needs Trey Young. New York. Oh. The Garden Killer. Mm. The Garden Killer. They would love him too. Needs. Oh my God. They would love him. No, it's because, like he's on our team now. Oh my God. He, you know why? You know why? <laughs> he's, he is the perfect yep. New York yep. player. The yep. reason is, is he's gonna give you the the game that you guys are coming there to, to see, see. Yes. Yep. and he has the New York snubby fuck you. Yes, he do. Yep. Yes, he yep. do. Right where you where, where New York itself is like hell yeah. Yeah. Right, the guy who irritated the hell out of New York. Right, he was his. That was so funny. His little his little what's the name was damn near right there with Reggie Miller. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Right when you're talking, to, yeah, when you're talking about how New York and Reggie Miller was together, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. that was years of shit. Uh -huh. He did it in a, he did it in a, just a series, just yeah. a series, just a series. He became the most hated dude. You know, they had so many and things. that could be one of the reasons why people don't like fuck with Trey Young because of how bad, yeah. How, it wasn't how bad, he, <laughs> how disgusted they felt after he left. Like they really like. 
Fuck him. Fuck him. I don't like that. I don't like I don't like what he just did to us. Fuck his hair. <laughs> fuck his teeth. They fuck his shoes. They don't even play the Hawks. And the Knicks win the game. Fans will be outside the arena chanting fuck Trey Young. Young. Fuck Trey yeah, yeah. He's not even anywhere in the vicinity of New York. That's love. That, that's love. When they had that pop, that, that lollipop with their hair from the carpet, bro. I, Yo. I said New York fans are undefeated. No, he will, he will be the, like, he will go to, like, if New York had a, <laughs> if you, if New York had the all-star game and Trey Young went into the building, he would be the only one boo. Well, for sure. Yes. For sure. Oh, he would be so hated. Like, but I bet if he come in there with that New York jersey on. Like that's just that he like he like if 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 he had an if he if he was in New York, the the dude that's considered the New York hater, like they would thrive with him. It's like Nate Robinson on steroids out there. He would be like Nate, like when Nate subbed in for New York, them motherfuckers got out their seat. Yeah, he, he would, scored. He would be Jeremy. Here, look, he would be Jeremy Lin and Melo together. Ooh, woo. Because he has the he has the swag, and they already feel some type of way. And Mitchell Robinson would thrive with him, because he's throwing him lobs all day. That's mm -hmm. Capella. Mm -hmm. Mitchell Robinson is Capella to him. That's who they need. Hey, man, we, I mean, we love Brunson, but. But when you're talking about like like <laughs> game changer, like the, just the atmosphere itself, like like it's the atmosphere that Trey Young will create over there. How much is Brunson averaging? Twenty four. Yeah, he's, he's, he's twenty four. Yeah. Twenty four. He ain't doing twenty four and ten. No, no. no. So think of thirty and what? We just said twelve. Thirty and ten. Twenty five and six. Yeah. But it's, That's a, a but swamp. It ain't. A, but it ain't a. It, it's it's the it's how he carries himself like Bitch when, he, type when he's sitting there doing this and all that and talking to the crowd like that's it's the aura. Swag. that's it's the aura. what new york it's needs you need that guy yep you need that guy that does more than basketball you need a guy that people hate you, you need like you need like the guy who sit in there like he you need the whole atmosphere of the aura when people say what is it that's it trey young's it. he got it he got the it. right no, it ain't about it ain't that. about the numbers, right? The numbers match, but we're talking about the whole thing. When you go there to see, no one goes, no one's coming to the arena to hate Brunson, right? Man, he doesn't, Especially from the other team, his, right? His his he don't push out that kind of energy. I mean, you're not really coming to watch him, right? But but I said you're he's he's the guy who's gonna give you the numbers. You're like, oh shit, Brunson got oh yeah, oh, yeah Brunson yeah, yeah. yeah. surprise us today. Right? Yeah, but you're, he, you're not going there to hate him, mm -hmm. right? People are when when when. Atlanta comes to town, they're coming to the arena to hate him. <laughs> That's it. He has it. Right. When you it's get in girl. Hey, when you get in a, when you get in an argument no, for with real. your girl trying to looking for the Trey Young jersey, like, where's my jersey at? Yeah. Fuck my jersey. Yeah, where's, my, where's my fucking Trey Young jersey? <laughs> they not, they like, not, you know what I mean? Like, you know, that's definitely, that's I'm going to the game. We're closet. almost late. Yeah, if it's in the closet and your girl washed it, you mad. Yeah. What? That's the guy you yeah, need. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Where he can change your, your, your relationship. Your relationship. <laughs> they can't yeah. find some shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, I just, I'll put the jersey right yeah, here. I'm, I'm making lollipops with little frigid hair. Do you need that guy? That shit. I wonder how many relationships were impacted when Trey was cooking the Knicks back in those playoffs. Oh, yeah, man. Man, man, oh, that that why are you so mad? He's not that mad, honey. He's, just, he's cute. <laughs> Who's cute? <laughs> cute? Who's cute? <laughs> <laughs> say it again. <laughs> say it again. <laughs> say it one more time. She. Fix your mouth to say trash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, let's keep this thing moving. We got one last topic to talk about on the show. Uh, it's Steve Kerr. Uh, after the Warriors suffered a tough loss to the Nuggets in a game in which the Joker shot 18 free throws. Warriors head coach Steve Kerr blasts the league for allowing foul baiting to run rampant. I have a problem with the way we're, we are um, legislating defense out of the game. That's what we're doing in the NBA. The way we're teaching the officials, we're just enabling players to BS their way to the foul line. Um, if I were a fan, I wouldn't have wanted to watch the second half of that game. It was disgusting. It was just... You know, just baiting, baiting refs into calls, but the refs have to make those calls because that's how they're taught. So I have a real problem with the way we are, um, we've legislated defense out of the game in this league, and uh, the players are really smart in this league. And for, for over the last decade or so, uh, they've gotten smarter and smarter, and they're just, um, they're just, Enable, we have enabled the players, and they are taking full advantage, and it's a parade to the free throw line, 
and it's disgusting to watch. Thanks. Do you agree or disagree with Steve Kerr's assessment of the state of the league? Y'all gonna be y'all yeah, gonna go can first? I go? Yeah. Bro, you can go. Can I go? Bro, bro, I disagree with him. Like it's your fault. Why it's Steve. your like, fault, it's Steve. Your, how y'all play? What the fuck? It's the way y'all play. I'm on roast about defense. Man, hey, go ahead. You want to go first? Go no, first. I'm just saying the way they play, and you're talking about defense and like <coughs> how the way y'all play is the reason why the game is the way it is. Hmm. Can't stop somebody. Can't stop Steph Curry from shooting half court. Like, come on, what, the, what type of defense we gonna play? I'm disgusted at the fact that he said he's disgusted. <laughs> 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 That's how fucking disgusted I am. Like, all this shit has been happening because Steve Kerr refused to fucking pull Draymond Green to the side and say, hey, listen, man, you need to stop this shit. As a real coach, pull this nigga to the side. We wouldn't even be talking about refs. We wouldn't be talking about the inconsistencies because it all come from Steve Kerr not being able to pull fucking Draymond Green to the side and say, listen, man, I need your fucking leadership. Leave Jordan Poole alone. Leave him a fucking alone. But the fact that you promoted that shit. But what about, what that got to do with defense? Everything. Just accountability, period. Mm -hmm. The refs is not going to do the shit that they doing out there. If Draymond it don't feel free to do the shit, they picking on the Warriors. They picking on y'all because you've allowed this monster to just run rapid. When he, Draymond is a good enough player that if the coach comes to him and say, you need to stop this shit, man. Come on. We champions. But the fact that he promoted that shit. You think he going to listen to Steve Kerr? Yes. Draymond Green? Yes. He promoted. Hey, you know Jordan, Steve Kerr. Jordan, you, know you got to stick up for yourself. Jordan Poole, you got to stick up for yourself because hey. Michael tried to do it to me. Hey. So you should stick up for yourself. And then that fucked everything up. Now you complaining about the refs, bro. Hey, you think he respect uh, Steve Kerr, Draymond Green? Yes. For, for what Steve Kerr done for, for his role? For his, for for his, his, role for his career. For his career. I put you in position to be a Hall of Famer, bro. Who? Steve Kerr allowed him to do be, be who he is. Mark Jackson put you in a position to take over that team. Stop it. All right. I'll give you a little bit of that. Stop it. Go ahead, Gil. You got it. You got it. Reality is this. The reason he's <laughs> complaining, the reason he's complaining is how they won championships, they didn't need fouls, right? Because they don't have a guy before KD, they didn't have a guy mm. who generated fouls. Yep. They used shooting ability to win games. Facts. Right? And that's what he stood on. He stood on the ability to just make shots. Mm -hmm. So when you play against other teams that has that guy, it goes against you. Absolutely. Right? Because you're the one that's at the disadvantage to fouling. Right? You, you're at the disadvantage to Joker. Right? They don't, they're not going to foul you, so you're going to be the team that we're sitting here. You took complaining in, in, in against the Lakers. We only shot five free throws. It sounds great to idiots, but who on your team gets fouled? Nobody. There's nobody on your team that gets fouled. Step backs, jump shots, you're shooting before the defense gets. That's your game. Yep. This game is Joker backing you down, and you got to put your. So when we're talking about building your team. You built your team to take Joker out. Yep. Right? When people say, how will Shaq be in this <laughs> era? <laughs> well, whoever has Shaq, they're going to use Shaquille O'Neal's ability to dominate down so you force to get big. Yep. You're going to try to go small to shoot a bunch of jump shots to take him out. To take him out. Right? That is the chess move. Right, right. You just got fucked up here. Yep. Right. That all right? But, the, uh, but when they say you took out the ability to play defense, that's false. It's crazy. <laughs> He's starting to the You narrative. took off offensive abilities, right? Right? It started with, you know, back when Tim Duncan, right? Face you, you got this, right? Yep. He's like, well, that's illegal. Boom, <laughs> right? right? We started using that. When the offense started taking advantage of that, you took that off. Yep. Okay, that's off. Reggie Miller shooting with his leg out. Mm -hmm. It was allowed then. Yep. Mm -hmm. When more offensive players started realizing that, you took that off. Okay, coming in, you're inside the uh, triangle. I mean, you're inside the key, mm -hmm. coming in, jumping yep. into you, foul. Hey, as long as y'all jump straight up, that's illegal. That's illegal. Right, you took that out. Right now, you pump fake and they jump, right, and you bump into them. You took that out. So you're taking out every fucking thing 
that can that that helps the off the, the yep. offense. Yep. Right? So De- defense. I mean help the defense. So I mean no, it helps the offense. Yeah. No, right. no, if you're taking all this. You're helping the offense. I mean you you that helps the offense. You got your hand like that. So it's helping the defense be able to stay on the court a little bit longer. Yeah. James Harden, right? I'm doing this and I hook your arm. I caught you. That's illegal. I caught hey, ref, I caught you took that away. So you're taking everything <laughs> away because you're saying the guys are smarter. Yes, the offense have taken the book, rule book, and we're training against this, yeah. right? But when you say ref ship, I mean, the, the league should be upset with foul tracking. I will ask this. Wilt Chamberlain holds the record for the most free throw attempts, Right? That's when, back when? 60s. Yeah, okay, yeah. so back then, right? Not today. No. Nope. Jerry West holds the record for the most free throws in a season. When was that? 60s, 70s. Six, back then, right? Mm-hmm. The youngest person for a season, for a season, mm-hmm. Kevin Durant, well, it should not even Kevin Durant. It would be James Harden. Yeah. Right? James Harden at 18. He ranks 18 Damn. for most free throws made in the season. 18. Eight, nine will be Kevin Durant. Yeah. Right? That means everybody, Kevin Durant. <laughs> Shaq, 2,000. Right, so he's one of the youngest yeah. when he did it in the year 2000. Everybody else is from the 80s and the 70s and the 60s. So you were getting fouled. They were blowing the whistle way, way more back more. then yes. than they are now. It's a false fucking narrative that they do. Luca and them won't shoot fucking make 700 free throws in a season. They're, this is a jump shooting league. Yes. This is a jump shooting league now. 40 something, 50 something threes. They're not getting fouled on this, so that means the game is moving faster, not slower. You're going to have one guy because you guys are not built to guard. Right. You know, Embiid. And you're not, gonna, you're not built to guard Joker. You're not built to guard Giannis, where they're going to eat up free throws. That's just those three players. Mm. That can sit here and average 18 free throws. But they're not going to get to the point where my, as, as many fucking free throws as Michael Jordan was taking. Cook. You guys are goofy. Cook. It's, Cook. it's, 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 it's goofy thinking. Like, 18 free throws in a score that's 140 versus 20 free throws and they got 85. That's, that's crazy. That's a fucking... Yeah. That, they're, they're shooting more free throws than they have, you know, buckets. But, but go back to what you said. They built their shit. They, they built their shit on shooting, mm-hmm. but they didn't build their shit on playing defense without fouling. It, it, it ain't even, listen. It ain't even about fouling, right? It ain't. It, it ain't even about. It ain't. It ain't really about fouling. Like, if you have a lineup where you're playing small ball, right? Mm-hmm. You're you, Steve Curry. You're you're going small so Joker doesn't play, right? It worked against Utah when Rudy was there, mm-hmm. right? Go small so Rudy can get the fuck out of the game. Big slow right? ass, he don't do right? shit. Right, you, you don't do nothing. So now you have to make a decision like, ah, we don't need Rudy. We can't play Rudy. So we take away all Rudy's defense, right? And that, that's the goal, Yep. right? If you're taking about shooting, you get the advantage. Now when you're talking about Joker and players like that is, no, 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 no. We're not falling for that. We're going to beat you. You got, what was this, Greg? What's the dude, Greg Williams? Yeah. 6'4", right? four, pile four. Grant, Grant Williams. Grant, Grant Williams, Williams, get the fuck out of get the fuck out of here. Oh, he, what are you gonna do? Just foul. He's six four, so he's gonna sit there and foul and foul and foul. Now you're talking about they're just calling a whistle. What else? There's what, what are you gonna do? You're six. Yo, grow the fuck up. But the, <laughs> that, grow the fuck up. But the difference is Rudy Gobert don't got the offensive skill set to be a threat. Right. You, you can literally you, let him do his thing. Yeah. Let him let him go. Yeah. But with Joker, it's like, hey, we got the double. We got to bring somebody. Foul him. Yeah, but he's also Foul. going 18 for 18 from the free throw. And he's going to go 18 but, for 18. But you're not going to get, he, Joker's not going to get 18, 20-something free throws against, um, let's say, a team like uh, um, 
Sack. Timberwolves. Timberwolves. Yep, yep. Right, they got bigs big. that can just play defense. Hey, yes. okay, you guard. We got them. Right, we don't need to foul them. Don't double down. Head up. And, um, you know, we got a big guy in the back. You know, we're going to, same thing with uh, uh, Giannis and him. Yep. Right, you have bigs that can play behind them, do that. But when you're small, you're trying to do this front and back Yeah, you got a scheme for it. And, like, you got, we're going to front them. He's six. Foot, just throw the ball here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just throw it here. What the fuck you gonna do? He can't even jump this high. Turn, and then now you're fouling on the backside. You're fouling because you're small, right? So now you're playing. You're playing this. Getting in the. We're gonna dig down. He sees your arm in there. He's gonna catch it. Like you're at the disadvantage, right? And that's the problem with that. These these teams created this small ball situation, and the bigger teams are just we're just drive. We're gonna just drive. Steve, so what Kirk. the words? So what the words need to do? Get grow the, the fuck, fuck up. Yeah, and get the fuck over. Not grow the fuck up and it, grow the fuck up. Get a little taller. Get the fuck over. I mean, listen, there's this new surgery that's going out, right? As it's going on where they can create your inches, right? They like do something with the knee and the oh, shit and shit. Oh, oh, shit. Six, six, six. Go and do that to some of your goddamn players. Y'all got the money. <laughs> <laughs> Go to one of them doctors in New York. And, 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 <laughs> niggas start getting implants like women. Yeah, they start getting implants, going, man. Niggas, niggas, niggas start going under the needle like women. <laughs> sitting up taller. I'm, nigga, you was 5'9 last two, week. Five, you was 5'9 last five, week. 5'9, nine, 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 now you 6'3. But guilty to your point. Now you point, XL. Uh, <laughs> nuggets, nuggets played the Timberwolves back Love on November 1st. Move around. Watch out, dude. Joker had two free throw attempts in that game. Yeah. So. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, But that's what I'm saying. There's, there's reality. And then there's bullshit. Stop trying to right? save yourself, Steve Kerr. That's what I'm saying. Save but, yourself. But every fans and media, they they all think the same way. And that's like, yo, smarten up. Understand the game of basketball. Right? If you throw Shaquille O'Neal, you throw Tim Duncan, you throw all star level players in the post, in this, the way they generated this offense, they're gonna sit at the free throw line all day. Same thing with LeBron and them. When LeBron and them drive to the lane all day, there's, what are you going to do if you're trying to contest a shot? Foul them, mm. right? So him, Anthony Davis, sitting there driving, foul them. Well, if your team is designated for that, they're not going to foul as much because they can protect it. So he goes 18 free throws against a small team, a team that goes big, no matter how many buckies he gets, he's not going to be at the foul line because they can, they, they can play Davis without fouling. I think Steve Kerr is just lashing out at the fact that the, that the Warriors are crashing out. He, he don't know what the fuck to do. He can't do what he what he can't do it because his team ain't built for free throws. That, that's all he's complained about so they every need KD. year. They need KD. They need 35. No, they no, need saying, him. No, what I'm saying is they need him. No. <laughs> they need they need that type of player. Yes, that's the only player they need that can get fouled. So yes. when you drive into the lane and you're trying to get in a penalty, Steph ain't doing that. Steph body ain't taking those hits. Wiggins ain't doing um, it. Wiggins don't, he ain't aggressive enough, but he has the, yep, yep. you got Kaminga. Kaminga is the one that gets fouled. He gets fouled. He's the only person that can get he fouled. He can't really Yo, shoot free get throws. get real aggressive, but get really aggressive. Get us in the foul penalty. And then Steph, hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do your Trey Young shit. Hey, hey. And that's the running why Trey Young will average nine free throws while right. LeBron averages five. Man, yeah, LeBron, he know what he's doing. LeBron, third career lowest, I believe, this season, 5.8. And you know he attacks the basket, does not mm -hmm. get the call. So the only active players in the top 50 for free throws attempted in the season, Harden did it three times, 24th, 34th, and 45th. Mm -hmm. And Westbrook and KD are tied for 43rd. And they all played together. 43rd. And they all played together. And they all fucking played together. And they all played together. Think about 43rd in the season. 43rd, and there's a Giannis on the court, there's a MB, MB Joker. and a Joker, and that's 43rd. That means the narrative that they're pushing about too many free throws in a game doesn't actually exist because you will have the new generation clearing the spot. Yep. No, that's sitting there from the 60s, 80s, and all of that. That's because who? what else are you going to do with someone like Wilt? You can't guard him, so you're just fouling them. Yep. Shit, fuck it. Put him on the free throw line. He can't shoot. So, Put him on so do you feel like uh, Kerr saying that the NBA is legislating defense out of the game, that's a myth? Or? It's a myth. Yes. It's false. He's it's frustrated. Yeah, it's false. It's, it's like he can't get it up. Relax, Steve. That's why, <laughs> that's go why. get you some ashwanda. He need the hemp pill. Get your ass. Go to the gas station and ask for the rhino pill, <laughs> boy. <laughs> get your ass right. Because you fucking around trying to piss everybody off talking about y'all getting the unfair treatment and the shit. Rhino. That's some bullshit. But that's a, but the that's the blue rhinos. But what I'm saying is but that's... You gotta get the blue one, not the red one. Get the blue one. But get the blue one. But that's but that's everybody. But that's the red one have the red one have you fucked up. Yeah. But that's that's but that's everybody. That's even the, the narrative when they started pushing that um positionless basketball, right? Mm. 
And they say, oh, the game is positioned better. Shut the fuck up. That's not a thing. <laughs> right? There's no, good, no, no player who played basketball will have used positionless. Because I cannot put Steph Curry at the five. No. Right. I can't put Steph Curry at the five. In no and scenario. So that means he is not positionless. Clay, can you play the five? Nope. He's not positionless. Hey, Wiggins, can you play the five? Nope. He's not positionless. So the only thing that makes it positionless is one guy, a five man who can dribble. Oh. Yeah. A four man who can dribble or he can guard one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> He's the only fucker on the team that's wow. positionless. It's one person positionless. Okay, cool. That's his value. Cook. That's not the value of everybody. Oh yeah, we can we can put anybody. We can put uh, Greg Williams at the five in the four. Greg Williams. Greg Williams. Greg Williams. <laughs> I think it's Greg. It's Greg. Greg now. now. It's Greg, Greg now. We can put. Greg. We can put. Don't name is Greg. <laughs> we can, Greg hey, now. Greg we can now. put. Now here, if you if you think it's positionless, can Greg at six four, who's the same size as the point guard, can he play point guard? No, Hell he can't shoot no. the ball. Oh, so he doesn't have that position. Can he play the shooting guard? <laughs> oh, no, he can't do that either. Can he guard the point? Can he guard Fox in him? No, oh, he can't play that position. Can he guard the two? <laughs> oh, no. So he's an undersized four man that guards the four. And you think that's going to help you? That's not positionless <laughs> fucking back. He likes Sean Marion. He can switch off to the four or five. That's like we, we, we had a guy in Jared Jeffries who can guard one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. yeah. Right? He can bring the ball up. You got the Lamar Odoms, mm -hmm. right, who can play point forward and do there's guys who are positionless. That their value is positionless basketball. Most of everybody else has to be put in the position because when they play against someone who's playing regular basketball, who's not dumb. You're crying about the free throws. 100%. Hey, man, our 6'4 guy is getting killed by this 16 guy. I thought this <laughs> shit was positionless. <laughs> Someone lied to me. <laughs> we got to make a trade. We got to make we gotta, a trade. Man, we got to make a trade. Get somebody bigger in here. <laughs> fucking guys, it's man. Fucking like shit is, bro. Look at like it is. It uh, is, man. <laughs> Gil, that's your Arizona brother. No, that's just because like they see Giannis, 6'10, bringing the ball up and playing. He is positionless. His value is positionless. Luca can play one, two, or three. He can play one, two, or three. Right. LeBron can play one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. That's him. KD. Right? Can yeah, KD. One, two, three, three four, four, five. <laughs> this, right, you can't just put everybody yeah. positionless because you got positionless players. Talk that is a value for them. That's what makes them special. Can Brunson play three, four, or five? No. No. Can he guard three, four, five? So he's not positionless. But do you feel like all NBA teams should be positionless, though? Should it just be the best five players that make that team? Yeah, and that's what gets them fucked up because yes. they think that, like, no, that's bad no, coaching. It's not, no, that's bad that's coaching. That's bad yeah. coaching. I got three, I got three guys, six, four, and under on the team because yeah, they, he plays big. Yeah, that's good. Now he has to guard uh, Kevin Durant at 6'4". 6'11", yeah. How does that work out? What are we doing, coach? What do I, I, what do, I do with that? Yeah, that's just like I can't do nothing with that. that. Three lefties. But, but Three that's lefties. What, but that's what I'm saying. They're taking this word and they're trying to apply it, not realizing who, who are you naming? Magic? Okay, Magic is a unicorn. He's, he's an alien, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. His ability is not everyone else's ability. Right. He's 6'9". The vision of unrealness, right? We didn't know. I'm pretty sure his vision was 25 or 2010, right? Not 2020. Where everybody, oh, he need 2020. He probably got 25. He can see shit that normal people can't he see. He can see right. the future. So he, at one, you put him at the three, yeah. you put him at the four, you put him at the five. He has the size, the weight, and the IQ to play those positions. He is your positionless player. Him, right? Shaq can't play what? Like, there's... Joker, he is positionless. Well, he's a one and a five or a four. Like, he has that gift. And the, the fact that they throw it out so casually is what irritates. You know why, though? Because you look at positionless basketball in the term of it itself. It's a way to let the coaches off the hook for being lazy to teach the game the right fucking way. You saying it's positionless basketball and saying, all right, give us a bunch of little small guys that we can switch on, right? Mm -hmm. What is switching? When you, when you got coached by a really good coach and you switched, that was him saying, you being lazy as fuck. We could not switch. You being lazy, do not switch, is you saying you don't want to guard that motherfucker, mm -hmm. right? So all we see out there is a bunch of lazy ass switching, 
Then this guy's on an island. You asking a guy to guard a guy on the island after he switched, and now you know you can't guard him. But this is the coach sitting over there saying, we got to adjust. <laughs> you, 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 you can guard a 2-3, right? Mm -hmm. No, I can't. I'm 6'11". Mm -hmm. 290, I can't guard. So you being lazy as a coach, not putting your team in position to put guys in the big, big um, lineups like the Boston one. Horford, Przingis. Mm -hmm. We know traditionally this is going to work Yep. because this is how the game works. But this positionless shit, like you said, they played Grant at the four last year and all that. Didn't work. Yeah. It wasn't working. You just got Horford and Williams out there playing the five with this small motherfucker running around. Y'all losing the playoffs every time. Look, 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 that's what I said. Like, look at, look at Miami, right? You, you, you got 6'1", you 6'2", got 6'6", six, 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 and then bam. Six, Who's six nine six, six nine? What, what are y'all? What, what, what are y'all gonna do with that, man? That, what, what, you look like Houston back when when everybody's like, "Ooh, this got a good team." And I was like, "That's AAU." High. There's there's high school basketball teams bigger than this team. Yep. There's high there's high school teams bigger than this lineup right here, right? You got you got Chris Paul, you had Gordon, right? You had James Harden, and then you had PJ uh, PJ Tucker, Tucker. Yeah. Everybody's six five and under. Then you got Capella. Yeah. They didn't want to play him. Right? It's like, what do you, the, your best team is when Trevor Ariza was there and you had um, Anderson. Y'all had the big team. Yep. Like, no, what, no basketball. Stop following trends. The great, the great people, the great do not follow trends because they know it's a trend, yeah. it's not reality. Mm. Jay-Z don't follow a trend. He does him. Creates one. Right? No, the, the creator is, well, he just does what he's going to do. The creating is Kanye Drake. Right? The rest of y'all are following trends. When those two guys decide to change it, y'all are up. Y'all are done. Y'all are out. You got to follow that, too. <laughs> but if you keep your old shit, it may come back. Like all the kids nowadays are all wearing baggy shit. Retro yeah. shit. Yeah. They're yeah. using all our old shit. I'm like, what are y'all doing? If I see a Walkman with the little, with the, with the little styrofoam earphones the in The ones it, that went like that? Yeah, Fire. what? Fire. Like, Fire. Give me that. How much you Fire. want for that? Fire. Like, like, Is that a tape in there? Fire. Like, like, uh, <laughs> like, 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 like trends, right? It's not even trends. We set something, mm -hmm. right? For, now you have somebody like Skip Bayless, right? Mm-hmm. Who he was used to one on one. Now he had added, you know, he added two more people. He wasn't built for that because he's not used to it. Right. Right? So if you're not built for it, then you're following. Yep. Gotcha. When we decide to change it up, you're fucked. Mm -hmm. You're fucked. Mm -hmm. Right? Count and, and I'm fucking talking, days. And, if, and, and when people would say, like, when we talk about, Creativity and ability. Let me say, hey, we challenge any other podcast to a shootout. One on one. They're not built for it. Come on now, get I'm, your ass smoked. I wish we y'all. We're, we're literally, we're literally, screens. we're literally having a whole shooting contest with the guys on the couch. <laughs> y'all can't do that. Mm -mm. No. It, it, it's you know what I mean. It's if you're they can't do if it. You're, do. That's why if you're talk. setting something, it becomes the trend for them. <laughs> like they can't do that. Can't do it. I look better than you. Better than they say no. Better than you. I look better than you. <laughs> right? And, and, Why are you so in competition and, with me? And, and, and it's just the, it's the game, man, where people put out the false narratives and, and they think that when I say something that I'm just going for clickbait. And then what ends up happening is it sounds like clickbait to you. And then when you try to have a rebuttal against me, it can't work. Right. Because now you finally went to go look for the research. And then you're like, ah. He was right. Mm -hmm. He's right. I got to shut the fuck up. Fuck. I got to shut up. He's a step ahead. Yeah. Fuck. Right? Or they just be quiet because they, they don't want to go back and forth and show that they, like, your E, listen, I'm sorry, but it, it is fact. Your research, because most analysts got research team, right? And this is where you lose to me. If your research team is giving you the information, then you didn't look it up. Mm. You're listening from his perspective. I don't have a research team. I am a research team for myself. Period. So when we go back and forth, when I say something, you don't have nothing because your research team didn't go that deep. Right. They don't know what they're looking for. Right. Because they right. didn't who? They don't know what they're looking for. They don't know 
what that, that you know what I mean? Like when I'm making an argument, I'm looking for something. Little trigger words. Oh, there you go. Like, you know, like, what makes him a star? He ain't a star. I know where a star is supposed to be last two minutes, so I'm going to look for certain things. So when my research comes back and I say it, they don't know what the fuck they're looking at. Mm -mm -mm. Your research team is a dude who went to college for sports analysts. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's kind of like when I made the, uh, when I made the assessment about Kawhi and uh, Dre Iguodala, and I told you, I said, just think about it, though. Just want you to think about it. Mm-hmm. When you think about it as a hooper, mm -hmm. you're like, young Dre was nasty. Mm -hmm. Kawhi, he had to build that up. He didn't come in and he didn't just get it. Like, Dre got it. Mm -hmm. So I put the two together. I'm like, yeah, I'm just giving y'all understanding that this is a conversation. I'm not yeah. saying he's better. What are you saying? Per se, I'm saying if you look at it, <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't far off. Mm -hmm. How? Because I said it. Mm. <laughs> Because it ain't far, it ain't far, I, pl yeah. I, I, play, I played First, against Dre, I know, hey, I look at Dre and I say, hey, you said Kawhi, Kawhi ain't got, Kawhi you ain't said Kawhi with, didn't come in. Kawhi didn't have what you Dre said Kawhi had. Kawhi Leonard didn't come into the league and do what? Right away. He was going to take, take Kawhi Leonard and win his first championship? Hey, hey, Kawhi Winner. Uh, so Ka Kawhi Leonard with the San Diego State. How long did it take Kawhi Leonard to win his first championship? We can't championship? do that. Yes, we can. Yes, no, we no, can. can't. I can't help who I'm drafted by. What no, you yes. mean you can? I can't help but, who I'm drafted yes, by? Yes, you can. Shit, I'm quiet. I don't you talk. Can. Niggas don't fuck what was you, Where do you go to school, Brandon? Year three, right? Brandon, where you go to school? And, huh? Where you go, where, where do you go And how much did he have to win a championship run? You are Kawhi. Ten. You're Kawhi. Where he goes to? Kawhi Leonard. Yeah. Uh, uh, San, well, Diego goes, yeah San Diego State. San Diego State. Right. Okay. What did he do at San Diego State? He got enough to. He played defense. He was the he was the first person in the trap at the top. We gonna put you there. You the defensive guy. You came in the league. We drafted you for that. I like both. So now them. look, you stepped into a role where we allowed you to thrive. Andre Iguodala, bro, was oh, the sure. franchise guy. For sure. For sure. Allen Iverson was there. Allen Iverson was there on in his the team. In the playoffs. Yeah. How about for the season? He was 13, not the franchise guy 13, when Allen 13 and 6. Allen Iverson handed him the keys, bro. He was not the franchise guy when Allen the, Iverson was in Philly. 52% no. from the I'm, field. I'm just letting you know. Yeah, that's what I said. Like, so. like, 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 long as Allen Iverson has on a 76ers jersey, nobody is the uh, franchise. Okay, okay. No. So when Allen Iverson left, there yeah, was still an AI that was there. No, no Allen Iverson <laughs> left. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? <laughs> there was still an AI there when Allen Iverson left. They said this is AI's team still. Mm, that's a... Thank you. Okay, I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, thanks. Twenty twenty four, y'all. We got. I mean, I mean, San Diego State. I mean, he was doing well. I mean, you know. But I just use that as a reference. Like, I'm yeah. just using yeah, that as a reference. Better. Like, like when I when you I'm look at that. I'm a lottery pick, and I came in my third year, and I did what I was supposed yeah. to do. I won. Yeah. I'm just saying, as research wise, like research wise, they not gonna look that. deep yeah, into but, it. Yeah, but, but they if you say you're better than someone who's holding, he's, he is the star player, versus you're a fourth option. You can't use I won a championship in year three as a fourth option. And Arguing then I came back, and I came back the next saying, year. Arguing with a, a guy who's the number one option because he didn't win. You can't, that's a, that's a bad argument because it's like, yeah, that, I averaged 29, nigga, you averaged 14. And you had Tim Duncan. You know what I'm saying? Is you averaged I, 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 I had a bum, uh, bum leg Elton Brand and Dallas, no. Sam Dallenberg. That's my no, but what, no, it's not your prob no, it's not your problem, but when you're trying to say I was a better player than you, and you say, yeah, I averaged 14. I was the fourth option coming off the bench. I'm looking at you. Shut up. Yeah. And then I came back. Because you can't, you're not yeah, better. Because you're, you're not better than me because of that. Next year wait, wait. as the third option. So at 23, I won a finals MVP and I'm the fourth option? With 15 points. Cool. Yeah. As at Andre Iguodala, like, I won finals MVP not even in the franchise player. He shouldn't tag, even got it that but year. But he got it. He shouldn't have got it. He shouldn't have got it. Kawhi shouldn't have got it. Kawhi shouldn't have got it. Yeah, Kawhi shouldn't Kawhi got shouldn't got it. it. Averaged, so what you saying, B? 14. Kawhi averaged 18 and 6. 18, 18 and 6. Okay. Huh? Okay. Well, so what, he wasn't even the third best. He was, who, was he the best player on the court? Who was leading us? No. No. But no. why did he get it then? Because he they got won. It. Right. So what was he, he was doing? He was playing defense. What was he doing? Yeah, what was his plus and minus? He was playing defense like Ron Artest. He got, he got put, he was there to guard LeBron. LeBron shot, shot. averaged 28, right? <laughs> shot 50% from the field, 53% from the three-point line. Huh? So he didn't do that. Research. So listen, I like Research. both. I like both. All right. I'm going to say is. Kawhi 18 and 6, but he shot 61% from the field, 58% from three. I'm just. Listen, mm -hmm. all I'm going to say is. Listen, all I'm going to say Wide open. No one guarding that man. Wide. Third option. You Bruce Bowen, it got a green light. <laughs> no, but I'm saying is, 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 but it's that argument where, where you're, when, when, when they're talking about like somebody like Mano Ginobili and those guys, like, right? Like, 
You're good when no one paying attention to you, bro. Come on, talk a fuck about right? it. And I don't give a fuck talk about nobody. Fuck you about can it. say I'm hating, but reality is reality. If you don't like what I'm saying, fuck. Because I'm saying it, cool. But the fact is the fact, right? The fact is the fact. It's a third option six man. In his role, he played great, right? Don't tell me he's a Hall of Famer and he's better than this person and this person was a whole star that had to be doubled and triple teamed to slow down. No one paid attention to him. And if you want to go to the stats that says, well, if he had his own team, I got that information too. When he was by himself, when there was no Tim Duncan and there was no um, Tony Parker and he was the, the guy by himself that's going to take 20 shots a game and the, the, off, the defense focused on him, he averaged 13 in those 65 games. And then he he went, didn't average 29. He went to Toronto and won it. I ain't never seen him. 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 Did you just deflect, though? Did you just deflect the fact that he just brought up 13 points a game? Fuck them 13 points. Nigga, you can't do what I just did when I went to Toronto. You can't do it again. Hey, I ain't never done that. You can't do it again. I ain't got to do it again. I ain't got to do it again. It's a fluke, nigga. I ain't got to do it again. You a paper champ. I ain't got to do it again. You a paper champ. Watch out. No, I'm not even. You've been out here six years. You ain't got to go. You a no, no, I'm talking. No, I'm not talking about Kawhi. I'm not talking about Kawhi. I'm saying that's what the, when we talk about Ginobili has all these rings, and I'm saying when he had to stand on his own like a real man, and my two two guys is gone, and I averaged 13 a game. He averaged 13 a game with with you two. You take him off the court and say you got 65 games to yourself, and I tell you in those 65 games by himself as the lone wolf, he averaged 13 points that's a game. Crazy. You're talking about Kawhi. No. Ginobili. Ginobili. Oh, Ginobili, yes. So when people say he has five rings, he needs to beat. No, shut the fuck up on that. Right? He was a great, great utility guy. He was never a standalone guy. Just like, and I can tell you real time, just like a Jordan Poole. If we told you Jordan Poole would average 15, 17 points right now after averaging 20 as a third we'll option, you. We'll you would. There's some guys who are not built to withstand stardom. Yes. I don't care if you don't like it. Right. Reality is reality. Yep. No, I, I, I There are agree. some six men that are just great at six men, which means is they're playing against second unit defense. Yes. Right? The defense is not focused on them, so I, they never have to play against Kawhi Leonard. Right? They never have to play against you know, this guy. They're going against a second unit, and they get th that's their comfortability. And, and as a fan, if you don't like it, I don't give a fuck, but you can't prove me wrong. Man. I just think we got to put the equal dollar and Kawhi Leonard shit to bed. Like, let's not bring that up no more in 2024. Because what that man did for Toronto Raptors after they, after all them trying to fight over LeBron and lost. Yeah, that, that's what I said. Yeah, uh, you can see it in the chat. Yeah, he was, he was great in his role. Yeah, averaging 13 points. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, we need to try to make you a star. 13 points. Okay, cool. You're a 13 point guy. Nah, but Ginobili, I mean, his 13 style of, points. Ginobili, his style of play ain't, you know, it's and European. Back then, you know, them Europe. Like, so when people talk about the six man, it's like, yo, you don't even, you're not even capable, you're not even capable of carrying a team if those guys was out because you couldn't, right? You're, you're nowhere near Lou William or uh, Jamal Crawford. You're not even on the planet. You use, you use rings for his argument. Oh, he got five rings. No, Tim Duncan got five rings. Just the, the rest of the team that was with him got five with him. Real shit. Right, there's a guy that was 15 that gets to run around. I got five rings because I played with Tim Duncan. Fuck. Okay, cool. Nice. Nice. What is your name again? <laughs> what is your name? What is your name again? <laughs> Rashad. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, I got me a ring. Let me get one of them. Uh, but I hate hey, being. I let me hate, get one of them. I'll this, sit over here for this I, motherfucker. But I hate being this guy. I hate. I love being the guy. That you, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I know being you guy love being the guy. This. But I hate being the one. Like I, I would rather you just be smarter <laughs> than me coming and doing. Like me saying it and then you get offended by it. I'd rather you just just like watch basketball the way you're supposed to watch it. Right? Right? If I throw this out there, people will get mad. But reality is reality. If I say, hey, if you think 80s was this great, right, talent-wise, shooting guard-wise, right? Okay, we're going to say the best shooting guard was Michael Jordan. Yep. Now, let's do the next 19. Tell me what era they came from. And when you finish that, shut the fuck up.
period. When you say everyone who comes after Michael Jordan, yep. where do they rank? Where do you rank the rest of the shooting guards going? Who's number two? Who's number three? Who's number four? Five, six? Shut the fuck up. Right? What were we saying? We can do it quick. Kobe, AI, Dwayne Wade, LeBron. Yeah, okay. Do they come from 80s? No, shut the fuck up. Right, okay, <laughs> shut up, okay? And I'm tired of doing this to y'all. And on that note, <laughs> let's move on to Mostly Fans. <laughs> Another spirited show to kick off this new year. <laughs> yeah, 2024, we picking up right where we left off in 2023. Ain't new, what I'm saying is, listen, I, I'm going to just say it like this. If you see my setup of information, you'll be like, okay, we'll leave you alone. I got TV, 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 computer, computer, computer. I, I sit in my office. I have literally one, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 TVs. What you watching with AT TV? Everything. Information. Everything. Is, is Soul <laughs> playing on one of them? No, I don't. Okay. I just watch Come on, sports. Gil. Soul playing good movie. I just watch sports. And I High just, quality <laughs> cinema. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm just saying, I got so much to my. I'm looking and googling and watching and get. I got. <laughs> you motherfuckers can't do this. You need a whole fucking. Can't fuck me. <laughs> Suck life till I die. <laughs> we, <laughs> we live our raps here on Gills Arena, presented by Underdog Fantasy. Before we start, mostly fans. If you have not done so already, go ahead and download the Underdog Fantasy app. Use promo code GILL. They will match your first deposit up to $100. All right, help us help you. You have some knowledgeable experts here on this panel. GILL got 18 TVs. Not <laughs> one of them has soul playing on. All league pass. You watching, high, what, college games? What else you watching? I don't watch JV. I just watch JV, man. I don't watch JV. I don't watch JV, man. I just watch NBA, man. J J J JV, there's some, some hidden NBA gems, some diamonds son. in the rough. I got, I got NBA, old NBA, new NBA. I got, hey, I'm watching everything, man. Anything <laughs> with an NBA. Anything 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 so got fast, NBA, he said it baby. so fast. I don't watch JV. Yeah, NBA, baby. <laughs> Are you watching old 80s games? Hell yeah, yeah, I do. Of course Travel. I do. Nancy of course Travel. I do. That's why he talking. That's why I get to talk shit. I, I, That's why I get to talk shit. That's another show we need. Gil just watching 80s basketball, commenting they on it. it They're they not ready for it. Man, you know, when you say, ooh, this is the hardest defense, they had three moves. <laughs> <laughs> Between the legs. <laughs> Between the legs, if they did that, you know, a little in and out. You know what I mean? What, what other, like, right? The, the, the spin. The rules, right? If. If the rules moved from carrying and doing all this and they're more lenient with it, think about how many more moves is created, Ooh. right? In the 80s, how many people did real step backs? They barely did cross. I don't even think they had a step They barely okay. had that was, I don't even think that was in the game. Okay, so if you did... Mark Moore, right, no, actually, but, I seen your dad do a fucking step back. But, 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 but what I'm saying is, like, just, just think reality. Fuck your feelings. Mm -hmm. Reality. Just think reality, right? Yeah. A shooting guard in the 80s didn't shoot threes. 18%, 20%, they, they didn't shoot threes. Now think about this. How many were athletic? One or two, right? Reggie Miller wasn't athletic. Uh, uh, Bernard King. These guys it wasn't athletic freak of nature. So if you was a real deep shooter, you didn't score, you right? Just, you just shot. You just, you just shot. Like other than that, then what made them great defenders? Because... He's not a three-level score, so there was no three-level scoring mm -hmm. then. It was two-level scoring. So that means I'm picking you up be below the free throw. So basically, they're guarding a bunch of Ben Simmons in there. Yeah. It's easier to put. How many people played defense on Ben Simmons? Look like great defenders, didn't they? Yep. Because he can't, what, what, what is he going to do out there? So I get to sit in the lane. This whole lane is, yep. what's the name? So you had to come in there, one, two dribbles, pull up jumper. Yep. That was your go-to move. Everybody's signature was, most of the, Shooting guards back then was post players, right? They go, turn it back. Yeah. Hand check works now. Oh yeah, I got the hand check and forearm, right? Because mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't have none of this to blow by you. Right. So now I'm hand checking because your back is against me. Now I'm sitting here, Mark Jackson, fucking. They had to put a fucking rule in five second back down because yes. they sitting yes. here the whole goddamn game doing a whole bunch of this. Mm -hmm. Like Charles Barkley at the three point line, turn his back, back you down, push it down, dribbles. Yeah. <laughs> Reset. <laughs> Jackie Moon. I, I mean, come on, guys. Jackie Moon. Right? You Jackie know what I mean? Throw it back to me. Throw it back to me. Throw it back. Throw it back. So what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, in reality, if the create, if you wasn't cre if the creation wasn't in then, right? You have to say, okay, the defense then, right? It's like level one, right? If this is level one, right? 
in every level you move, the 90s level two, the 2000s level three, level four, level, if you're talking about, if you take a guy who has level five offense and you put him in level one defense, mm. Mm. Come on, we play video games, man. You, we all do it. When we unlock the cheat code to all the weapons, <laughs> the, the first levels become easy. You, know, you, you got, got a bazooka too. on a level that's meant for pistols. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why we think like that, but we, we don't think like that. Think about cars, right? 80s in basketball is car, right? Mm. There was no, but... Uh, Bugattis. No, no, no. What was the steering? There was no uh, power, steering power steering in the 80s, right? All the windows, you got to sit there and do this and shit like that. No power steering. Bill character, right? Gil. Bill character. But what I'm saying is you have to treat everything like that, right? Everything now is updated. Yeah. Right? Everything back then was g generic. Right. Right? So if you had a player that was so far ahead of the time he's in, he's going to stand out. Yep. It's, it's, just, it's just facts, but when you talk about it as a whole, right, you, you, what, are you, what are you talking about? John, I, I seen John Starks, I'm not even gonna lie, I watched a 55 point game. I'm sorry, I watched a 55 yeah, point game. Yeah, there's a lot of New York slander. Um, no, no, I watched a 55 point game. No, to it's now. not about slander, it's like I watched a 55 point game in, in Jordan's Garden, John Stocks, right? Jordan is supposed to be this elite defender. John Sox is open on every jumper. He just couldn't shoot like that. Yeah. Right. To, to, to then, it was shooting. In reality, no. He, so he, Jordan lost him on every pick. Jordan got hit by every pick trying to guard him, but he just didn't make shots. And then he guarded Jordan like this. This is defense. Bro, you're, you, bro, you're getting shook. It's Michael the, Jordan. Like this. Like, like, and you wonder why as soon as Jordan takes his first step, he's by you. Yep. You're sitting here playing defense like this. That's not defense. No. Right? It, it's just like I'm sitting here like, and Jordan is guarding him for a reason. It's, it's, it ain't and Jordan's easy. like, I got Starks but, tonight. But what I'm saying is, if they didn't have... What I I'm got Starks. You know, relax, I got Starks. What Stark. I'm saying is, they didn't have the moves that we have to take away this. Like, anyone then, if you just straight line the player, they you beat them. But how many people dribbled the ball back then? Right. Like, let's be how many people dribbled the ball? Just the real point. The, the shooting guards. How, what shooting guard dribbled besides Michael Jordan? Who dribbled? Clyde Drexler? Like all of them, right? You're on the left side dribbling with your right hand. John, like when you think about Dr. J's moving, it looks great. What's all right hand? Yep. He, they don't know what this is. They ain't know what this is. <laughs> right? He's a fucking spin move. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. <laughs> <laughs> like, kept that shit the same hand. <laughs> 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 See the same, the same hand. It ain't turn. <laughs> like it just, it just makes it. It just, it just, it just one of those things. Just like, like me. It's just, it's, it's like. Can I play in this area with these moves or defend these moves? No. I can honestly say no because these moves was not in when I played. Yeah. This double, double step back and all yeah, this that shit. shit is that way that was not in my era. So for me to say, hell yeah, I can guard it, I'm lying. Right. I'm delusional. I'm not going to lie. I'm saying travel. Soon as they do it, I'm walking yeah. down on the other side of the room. Yeah. I'm, I'm, like, I'm, I'm like, that's a travel. Go because call I'm that. thinking it's a travel. It's a travel. This move right here. You remember this is a basic move, right? Where we did this, right? Yes. Right? We had to shoot. Yes. They can go Boom, and step take through. the step and step yep. through. The LeBron shit. The step through was not in our era. Nope. You got to jump off too. You had to jump off too. Yep. Right? I remember KG was uh, trying to show. Um, Candace Parker. And Candace Parker's like, no, 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 no. It's updated. Nah, nah, we can step through now. And KG was like, no. Nah, That's you, cheating. Right? It's like it's cheating. Yeah, like now you have a step through. That was not in, in the 2000s, right? So things are cre being created to open up more offense. So whatever defense you thought you had, there's more elements that's been added in. So no, you cannot. It's, I'm sorry. There's, they've done added more weaponry to the goddamn <laughs> to these cars. Like I mean, in the in the in the guards in the '80s, right? Year by year, basically one guard was in the top 20 in scoring with like 19 or 20. Mm -hmm. It's either Magic, right? You had Magic one year, then you had Isaiah one year. Never both together, right? One, one. Some years they didn't even have anybody in the top 20. Right? The top 20 guards started coming in when 
Tim Hardaway, mm -hmm. you know, Penny Hardaway. Mitch, Mitch and Mi uh, nah, nah, Mitch was a two. Um, oh, you talking about point guards. Um, Gary Payton. When those guys, them 90s, when those guards came in, yeah, they come in the top because they, they're not guarding anybody who, who can score. And now let's get to our mostly fans question <laughs> from underdog user by the name of Piff Monty. What's up, y'all? Boy. It's low ceiling rod. <laughs> I, I am upstairs now. I was in the basement. That's the man cave. That's the only place oh, I okay, okay. want to get peace. And um, what's up, y'all? I want to ask, what do you think about uh, Joel and B saying who you want to be like, KD or me? The f I almost smacked my phone at my hand, man. <laughs> So, uh, to give context, uh, Embiid was ba asked about uh, Wimbayama and was asked what advice would you give him. He basically said, do you want to become KD or do you want to become me? Not KD or like a version of those guys. You want to combine everything. Right now, I just feel like everything kind of feels a little forced in the way that he's playing, which is not bad because the only way to get better is to play through it and learn. That's the only way. You make a lot of mistakes and you learn. <sighs> can, I, can I first say that um, the mustache... It's different. It was distracting me the whole time he was talking. So I didn't really get to to hear a lot. Um, but yeah, you got to fix that. You got to fix that mustache, bro. You got, but continue. You got the ceilings, continue. but so how do you feel about MB saying, "Do you want to become KD or do you want to become me?" Well, when giving advice to Wimbenyama? I mean, dude's played thirty games. He's only played thirty games, like so. I don't think that statement was really needed. Like he needs to figure out who he needs. He's only played 30 some games. Like he's still trying to figure it out. I'm sure the Spurs are trying to figure it out. So, uh, yeah, I didn't really, I don't yeah. really care for that he, quote. Wimby played 28 games, he's averaging 19, 10, three assists, uh, shooting 44% from the field, 29% from three. I'd say if, if Joel and B would looked up his first three years, the stats, how would he equate the first three, three years? <laughs> two of them, he was on Chilligan's Island. Mm -hmm. He was chilling. Yeah, no, he didn't play playing. the first two. So, yeah, I mean, that is, I mean that, even that conversation is kind of warped because it's like, bro, like, he's a rookie. He's number one pick. Sounds like some jealousy. I'm just saying. Be look, like me or like, be like could, what? Like, you know, some people can feel it or smell it. But I get what he's saying. He's talking about as far as your skill set. That's, that's a conversation yeah. that's, but, I was having about Bobo. Like, <laughs> are you going to play like a five or are you going to play like KD? Like, you want to be a guard? But Bobo's like... Okay, but... Okay, but the question is, is he saying it as a diss to who? Yeah. Right? What, what is he saying? Is, he, is it a diss saying, like, do you want to be him or you want to be me? Because I'm trying to figure out, like, <laughs> what I'm saying is, one's a four-time uh, scoring champ at the age of, you know, 25. So, you, like, you want to be him? Cool. That's, that's amazing. You can be me later. I'm, I'm trying to figure out. Because he's, he's trying to say you want to be a guard or you want to be a real five. Okay, then I can say, well, J Joel Embiid wasn't a real five until what, last, this year? I mean, he, 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 he's he, still a real five. Though. But I'm saying he was a guard like, right? That's gave him an advantage. Yes. He's guard like. Yes. He was handling it, right? You know, three so, and you know, all that. So technically, he's m more you than he is Kevin Durant. Right. Right? Because what you can't do what Kevin Durant do. He has the body of Kevin Durant, but he kind of has, you know what I mean? He's in the middle mm -hmm. of both. Mm hmm. Right? But at the end of the day, that is a fucking great. That means they're 30. No matter which one I pick, motherfucker, I'm 30. Well, why can't, why can't he take I, elements of both and be his own? Well, nah, he, he don't need elements of both. Wimby is going, remember when I said Wimby, y'all not is here, fuck everybody else. Park it, man. You don't need, man. Wimby is like, I'm about to be who or who? Man, fuck both of y'all, nigga. I'm about to be better than both early. of y'all. I think it's he just too early, though. But what I'm saying is he can't take Embiid because they're having Embiid's weight. No, he right. don't. He, he doesn't even can't fall on every possession like Embiid because he's so <laughs> close. I mean, it's just, uh, uh, but uh, either way, you, you, would you, Hall of Famer? Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> like you want to be this Hall of Famer? You want to be this Hall of Famer? I'm trying to be me. I'm trying to be me. I'm trying to be me. All that. I'm trying to be me. All right, so question number two. The, uh, you know what? Hey, this person does not have an underdog fantasy account. Shame on you. We're still going to run your question, and we're going to pocket the $100 and add it to the pot and donate to the Josiah Johnson Foundation. I need some transportation for the work. Hello, Gilbert. This is Charles Barkley. Why do you hate old people? <laughs> because just last week, Gilbert, I was at a Make-A-Wish event, and I saw this young man wearing a Kevin Durant Phoenix jersey. 
And I walked up to him and I said, hey, little kid, I used to play for that team. And he told me, fuck you. <laughs> and Gilbert, <laughs> I had to dog walk his little ass. It's all your fault, Gilbert. You're making the environment unsafe for us veteran players. And we're trying our best to prevent things from happening to you, Gilbert. <laughs> Find that round what what what's wrong with our fans? Right, 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 bro. They were all your opinions, boy. The boys are there, bro. I appreciate the creativity. Gilbert, Gilbert, he said, "Fuck you." I had to dog walk his ass. Yeah, Gil. So why? You got it, Gil. It's all you, man. Give me my money back, and I don't got no damn receipt. He asked, "Why do you hate the old niggas?" I don't. I don't. I don't hate the old generation. The problem is, it's delusional. I just be just. Right, it's okay to, to say you were great in your era, and then the torch has been passed. Mm. Yeah. Good. Right. Old people have to hate. That's what I'm saying is, have, the, the the torch has been passed. Give the fucking shit up already. Right. It's like you just want to. It's like Al Bundy with this. You know, the poke. I scored a fourth okay. touchdown. Right. Okay. It's, right. Give it up. It's so. It's oh. <laughs> hey. 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 It's. It's. Hey. Hey. Get, get let it go. Give it, let, let it go. go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. I know this is all you got. Give it this shit up. And it, like, like, dude, like, get, it's, it's okay. Yeah. You it's do not, great. It's not okay. Hey, it's hey, not okay. Hey, Gramps, I appreciate what you did for us. Thank you. Uh -huh. God damn. Sometimes it's just, hey, we're going to give the torch, and sometimes you don't want to give the torch. Like boxing, right? Mm -hmm. If you ask a boxing, uh, somebody who boxed back in the day, Ali, uh -huh. let it go. Right? He was great. We get it. You know, it's Mayweather now. You know what I mean? When he's done it to be somebody, just the 80, you can't fucking 60s, 70s, 80s, you can't hold on to everything. Yes, you can, New people Gilbert. come and go, man. Yes, you can. You know Uncle what I mean? Uncle Rico. Uncle Rico said, <laughs> I play still. <laughs> you throw, yeah. throw football over the mountains. It's just, it, it, it's just, it's different. If I still played, I still have it. They fucking it's, cheated me. That's what I'm saying. It's different times, man, and, and it's just, it's, <laughs> It's, yeah, you didn't make the money, like, I didn't make the money that these guys make it, but I'm not gonna say, 200, and all I do is the, what you're supposed to do, equate it to when I play. Right, right, yeah. right. Oh, he's making 200, he ain't worth it. Well, technically, hold on. <laughs> In my era, that 200 would have been this. Yep. Mm -hmm. This type of player made this, that's equal. Four for 100. Four for 100, right? That's four for 12. Yep. That's who he is. Yep. Perfect. Absolutely. Right? The, the money changes. The, the money, money changes, changes and inflated, <laughs> yep. but you, you can't look at it like that. It's for what he does in my era, this is what it's worth. Mm -hmm. Right? You know, I made, you know, I was a max player. The max then was a hundred and something. The max now is 300 and something. Max is max. Mid-level is mid-level. Bottom is bottom. You know, rookies back then, the number one pick back then, right? Four years, 16 million. Mm. Mm. Wimby is 55 million. That's crazy. Jeez. The number one pick is the number one pick. It just, it, it's, it's all, you gotta, it's inflation. But right? can we start getting Fucking some chips old heads on the show? Chips ain't 25 cent anymore, fuckers. They're they're not, let it go. They're they're in the same bag. It's not By the side, the candy house ain't there no more. No. <laughs> At the Tiki school. punches used to be a quarter. Yeah. But you do, you do respect, you, you do respect the foundation of the game, though. Yes, I respect the foundation of the game, but the foundation got to Move. accept that we that moved it's, on. It's, yeah. it's moved on. I get it. Right, you can't just see be sitting there on the couch just look at this here, look at this here, look at this here, <laughs> look at this here, look at this here. These, these, they stop. They don't. They don't like the game anymore. Look, they don't even play hard. <laughs> and then now me, I gotta go through a hundred clips of you walking up and down, <laughs> out of shape, sitting doing the same shit. Right, my teammate should have passed me the ball. Why is my teammate? This is the same person. You talking? Are you the same person that's sitting there talking down about what this person's did? When I have, all, you you can't remove your history away from me. <laughs> I and Scott don't. I can find your history. I that. you know, and that's the problem. Right. Yeah, these guys don't pass the ball whatsoever. They're selfish and this and this. Same person. Poor dude. They had to put a back down rule in because you refused to pass the ball. 
20 seconds to 24 second shot clock, you ran it down trying to post up on the three point line. That's not you? <laughs> Your Chuck ain't had no moves. Yeah, though. Th- that was not the real Charles Barkley, though. Charles Barkley. I know, but, but I'm just saying. Those saying, gentlemen portraying but I'm just a saying, I don't hate the. I, I just let, let it go. Just start talking. Like you can throw your jazz, but don't talk about the integrity of the game when you played it the same. You was the same prima donnas Hypocrite. that they are, right? I can't tell you that. I, hey, coach, hey, try to he Jordan Poole ain't in the huddle. <laughs> yeah, all that shit. Yeah, all that shit. Motherfucker, neither were you. Neither were you. You was cussing motherfuckers out just the same way. Sitting there pouting, coach stuff. You are you sitting there? Ugh, yeah, throwing a towel. That's like, crazy. Yeah, that thing, huh? That pissed me off. I mean, you man. seventy pounds a little, a little heavier than, but that looks like you. Goddamn it, <laughs> shit. Real shit. And on that note, <laughs> real shit. Another spirit today. You was cooking. You was cooking. You was cooking today. Great, great to get hey, everything you came going. Hey, came in here today. I mean, our first, our first nice regular today. schedule cooking. show of the new year, 2024. <laughs> We're going to have more heat for y'all all, all year. We're taking it up another day. level. Count your fucking days. Everybody in traditional media, as I'm Mr. B loves to say, like count Parker. your fucking days. The, you three versus, I feel like any other show's crew, I would love to see that. Shoot out of 101. 101. I ain't fucking one on one. It just you know, two dribbles. Wait, hold two on. Dribbles <laughs> so you better. And two dribbles are left. Head, goddamn, it's just them two. <laughs> get, get to the corner. Spot up. We have seen the video. Your, your Lakers audition video. Man, what you got? Ta out there. You got Ta and Q Rich and D Miles and oh, yeah, now you can Matt beat Barnes. Matt Barnes stack. <sighs> they married now. You can beat them. <laughs> It's the two, motherfucker. Hey, when you add a three, man. We're going to lose with three. I can hey, tell you that uh, right now. Hey, you see that comment under Gil shit? Which one? From Pat Beth? No. Ooh. What did Pat what Beth say? say? He said something like two on like two on one. What he say? Like, be- uh, like he, he said something in the comments. He said something like, I, I don't know if he was trying to say like me and you versus him or something like that, but relax. Oh, he said, oh, okay. Like, I, I don't know if he was trying to take shots or something, but he was like, oh, I'll take, like, I don't know if he said something like two on one, like basically like me and you versus him or something. Uh-oh, I don't let know. Let me see. Let me see if we can it was, it. It was I under, mean, I didn't, like I said, I, it, was, it was under it, your video. After he did this shit the first time. Yes, it he, was like, it shouldn't have had anything to do, because uh, we talking about cat, and, but all this other shit. He, yeah. said, he, he said, me, I choose me two on one. Ooh. Ooh, he talking about y'all game. It's career, what? It's, it's career high is 26. <laughs> Uh oh. Huh? More Pat Bev. More. God, you know. I'm, t- I'm just tired. Can of we it. all get along? Like, Underdog, we gotta bro, set he, this hey, up soon as the summer. To, he's trying to get the. He's trying to get the viewers. Bro, just play. Just two play on basketball, one, bro. Just two play. on one. Trying to get the viewers. Pat Bev come hold back on, on the show. Hold on, no, y'all gonna play two on one. We gonna set that up, right? With who? Pat, it's Pat Bev. We don't friend. need a two on one. Half of me. Cool. But if, Half gonna, me. but if he want to play on two on one, we going to accept the win. What are you talking about? Absolutely. We'll crush just, the fuck out that nigga. Just like when, uh, was it, Haslam said he had beat up yeah, uh, Paul, Paul and Pearson. And, P- and KG. Like, if, if, he call, if I'm KG and he called me by myself, if I'm Paul Pearson, call me by myself, and he be like, yo, what's up, OG? Uh, uh-uh, nigga, you said two on one. <laughs> Y'all know what they did. <laughs> no. <laughs> let me call. Let me call my Hold on. <laughs> Give me 10 You wait right here. Give I got to call the other one. You <laughs> challenged us both. Nigga, double <laughs> And on that note, it's been Brandon. another Brandon. episode Brandon. of Guilty. <laughs> Oh, presented by you. Underdog Fantasy. <laughs> we will see y'all on, what's today, Tuesday? It's we'll see y'all on Wednesday. Nice, you ain't that good of a fucking defender, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you better go home and eat your food. Oh, I just think like, like that.